too loud i hope i'm not too loud am i too loud hi hello sleepless and yeah you heard it right if you saw the description of my of the stream i got a new png and i can't wait to show you guys hi hello can you hear me okay is my volume good i hope i'm not too loud the game's gonna end up being really loud so uh yeah <laughs> I'm so excited, y'all. I'm so excited. Do you guys like my thumbnail? Like my little thumbnail? I ain't too loud? Okay, awesome. Alright, let's let's go. Okay. Let me switch over. Okay, let me put on the audio back. Back to three. Paimon coming in! Paimon coming in! Is this level okay? Alright. Can you hear Paimon? I'll wait for it to... Oh, I forgot how loud the game can be. <laughs> I haven't had it on three in so long. Okay, I'm gonna wait for the screen to switch over. Any any day now? Oh, I didn't even... Oh, my bad. That was my fault. Oops, I didn't do the screen switch. My bad. <laughs> okay, there we go. It should be there now. In just a couple seconds, hopefully. Any day now, streaming. Any day now, how bad is my There we go, okay. Man, my stream delay. Okay. Hello, look at me, aren't I cute? I'm so fluffy. Look how fluffy I am. I have the Fontaine necklace on now. Look at me, I'm so fluffy. Oh my god. I'm so cute. Hold right, on, I gotta... I got to, uh... 
I got the tweet. Give me a second. I smell rabbit. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Right, there we go. It is done. I have tweeted. Okay. All right. But don't I look cute, y'all? Do you like it? Do you like it? Is it cute? I hope it's cute. I hope it looks adorable in every sense of the word. I know. Thanks. Thanks, Big to Nat Dreams for making my little PNG. I love it so much. I got an upgrade. I am now more floofy, and hopefully, I look less like a cat. No, <laughs> a little bit. I I still will use the old PNG every once in a while if I go back to Sumeru or something. But yeah, look at me, this little Fontaine. It's so cute. The day I get my human form is the day the world ends. Okay. So today, I'm right outside of Fontaine. I haven't explored it yet. I haven't even touched it. I've only gone this far. I haven't done anything to it. I've done Zilch. The only thing I've done is uh, Artifact Farm for Lin Lynette here. That's the only thing I've done. This is the only thing I've done so far. I haven't done anything else besides upgrade her just a little bit. So yeah, here's a sneak peek to one of the new Fontaine characters, Lynette. I absolutely love her. She drinks tea. I wish I can pull tea out of nowhere like that. So badly. Uh, if only. Man. But she's so cute! She's such a big bow. Like, my goodness. But I love her. I love her little outfit. Everything is so cute. <laughs> Yay! So Genshin had a bit of updates, so I'm gonna start with the updates a little bit after I claim this. Uh, so yeah. Yos. Give me that. Give me that. Alright. So, first off, the first update is that we now have a new animated party setup screen. So, depending on where you are in the world, the background of your party setup changes. And everyone has their own special pose, which I find really cool. Like, everyone has their own unique poses. Um, oh my god, Dory's is so cute. I haven't actually fully looked at these, all, all of them yet, but yeah, look at that. Isn't that cool? So if I were to enter Fontaine, I'm pretty sure the background of this would be different. Because when I was in Mondstadt, Mondstadt was in the background. So that's really cool. So that's updated. Uh, the map was also up to, up to optimized recently. So now... Um, oh, my picture's blocking out in the corner there. But, uh, so basically what we can do now is that if we go here, you can now look inside the underground parts of the map. So if I click stuff like this, or if I go here, or if I click stuff like that, and look, it shows me like all the underground area that I possibly could have missed or any something. Stuff like that. Like, isn't that cool? Now we can finally see underground for once. And know what's under there. Finally. Which makes me happy. <laughs> but today, we're gonna be starting the Fontaine story. Now, I'm gonna try to just kind of speed through the story a little bit. I, as badly as I want to explore Fontaine, I'm going to try to stick to the story as much as possible unless I need to explore. And then I'm going to- why is my character so low on health with? Okay. Um, so, yeah, I, I know that I'm going to start going like a maniac exploring everything. And I'm just going to forget the story exists and this will turn into like a six hour long stream, but... <laughs> we'll, we'll see, we'll see. So, I'm going to start the quest now. Uh, also, halfway through the quest, we're gonna wish for Linny. Because I really want Linny. So we're gonna wish on the new banner as well. At some point. I've been saving up, guys. I haven't- I haven't spent anything. I've been saving up. So, I saved up a lot. Some of the- some of the wishes I have are leftovers from my last wish event, which I think was Baiju? And I actually had a couple left over, so stack that on top of the ones I'm collecting. I have a lot. So I'm excited. Consciousness had been trapped by the doctor, 
But we followed the clues she left behind to help her. We stumbled upon this place at some point before. So much time has already passed since then. And it seems Sumeru is changing for the better now that Nahida's in charge, right? Paima just hopes this peace will last a long time. And then Nahida won't have any more new problems to deal with. Yeah, guess you're right. We gotta move on, Paimon. But somehow we always find ourselves right in the thick of it. Who knows what will happen yeah, next? Yeah, we best leave before we bring the I'm plague here. It. Maybe it's all because of you. Maybe you're just a magnet Oh, I'm trouble. sorry, Sleepless. I hope this brings you some entertainment. It, I was just thinking that you might be the problem, Paimon. <gasps> I fished you out of the water! At most, when she was super tired, Paimon got caught in some strange whirlpool and sucked out into sea! And even then, you fished Paimon out! <sighs> anyway, for Nahida's sake, maybe we should think about heading to our next destination for now. Fontaine! Ah, look who it is. <gasps> Running into you wow, in a place like this? Dia. I can see you two still love wandering around. Wandering around. We're usually taking care of some serious business. Even though it may have nothing to do with our journey. But never mind that. What brings you here? I just finished a commission in the desert for a oh, usual so client pretty. of mine. Gosh, why are you nothing so too interesting. Just escorting a shipment of goods. I'm on my way to report back. That's when I saw you two all the way over there. Chatting away. What were you two talking about, anyway? We're gonna leave to Fontaine. Oh, sir? Uh -huh. You serious? Can't say I saw that coming. Mm, but you are sir, travelers, Sir, you got a problem with me going to your I homeland? you never stay for too long in one place. Bumping into you like this will become a rarity. Ah, I'm starting to feel sad just thinking about it. Don't worry, I'll hey, visit plenty of time. How about I gather a few mercs to escort you two? What do you say? Thanks, but no need. Oh, Paimon had no clue you'd miss us so much. But don't worry, we'll come back to see everyone when we get a chance. Yeah, I gotta make new friends in Fontaine <laughs> Sounds too. Sounds good. All you need to do to get to Fontaine is cross this stretch of desert and navigate some waterways. Knowing you two, I'm sure it won't be anything you can't handle. So, uh, when are you leaving? Well, I'll leave as soon as we finish a few more preparations. Actually, no. Our, our journeys are spontaneous. We're leaving whenever. Oh, wait a sec. Paimon just remembered there are still a few dishes in Sumeru that Paimon hasn't tried yet. Now, where is that? Paimon, I want to go to Fontaine, please. Hmm. Sir, do you have a problem with me going to Fontaine? Come here. Approach me. Square up. I see. No! Guess Get back you here! won't be needing a going away party or You're anything. You're sus. It's sad enough to see you go like this. Though... Now that I think about it, Sumeru wouldn't be what it is today without you. Seems true heroes always prefer leaving quietly. <laughs> by the way, should we go say bye to Nahida? She'll know from our dreams anyway. Oh, good point. Then there's no need to bother her in the real world. Then I guess this is goodbye for now, Traveler and Paimon. Whether as a client or a friend, you're always welcome to come find me. Man, I wish- I I can't believe they got a super character to come say bye to us. They didn't really do that in, like, the other world- in the other st places when we left for them. Like, I wish, like, Sino, Tainari, and Alhita, like, the whole gang was here to be like, bye. That would make, that would make me cry. I would actually cry. Take care, Dia. Goodbye, Dia. Bye-bye, Sumeru. I'm so sad already. Hi, Dia. You're beautiful, darling. Never change. I wish I could have someone draw me in Dia's outfit. Like, my persona, but in Dia's outfit. That would be great. <laughs> Alright, wow, they just they just planted me right here. Okay, here we go. Whoosh! Oh my god, look how beautiful this place is. Y'all, it's so pretty! The water is beautiful. The water physics. Oh my god, look. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna love this place. Oh my god. Go to Rome Maritim Harbor? I don't know how to say that. I'm by the way, I'm gonna butcher. I know I can come back, but it's like I'm leaving the characters, you know, it's just like my story time in Sumeru is over and I'm sad. 
Anyways. Look at these turtles. I don't know how to whack them or anything. They don't really do much. Can I? Okay, I guess I can't hit this barrel. Well, whatever. Alright. We're gonna take a boat on over. Let's go! Whoosh! I wanna look at these ships first. Oh my god, look at the water. It's so pretty here. Oh. Oh my god, look! Our first, our first hydrooculi! It's right there! Oh my god, guys, look! Oh my god, we got it! We got our first hydrooculi! Woo! I consider that a great accomplishment. Alright, well, I'm gonna turn. We're gonna go to the Sumeru ship over here. Is this a Sumeru ship? No. It doesn't look like one. Well, it kinda does. Wait, is it? Yeah, no, it is. This is a Sumeru ship, right? I'm not crazy, right? It kinda looks like if Fontaine teamed up with Sumeru, which makes sense, honestly. Is there anything on Sumeru ship, actually? Oh, wait. What's this? Ooh! That's new. Oh my god, the music. The jazz. Oh, guys, I am such a j huge jazz fan. I'm gonna go barrel. It's not okay. Oh, no, Razor, get, get down. Alright, well, there's nothing really on this ship, so. There's some more ships over there. Okay. Whoosh! I want to make sure that there's nothing else on these ships. Can I even reach them up here? Hello? Ship? Oh dear. I don't think I can. <laughs> yeah, I'm going. I'm going, Paimon. I'm going. I'm going. Paimon, I'm going! Shut up! Oh my goodness. I'm a wolf. Isn't it normal to go feral? I don't understand that concept. Sorry, I just really love... Like, certain types of music, I will just be like, oh my god, yes. You know? It's like, I wish I could get up and dance right away, if you know what I mean. Okay, no, this is a Sumeru ship for sure right there. That's definitely a Sumeru ship. Oh my god! Wait, do I have to go across? <sighs> After crossing all that sand and water, we finally made it! Whoa. This must be Fontaine's port! Ooh. Wow! Everything looks so advanced in Fontaine. I'm on heard that the industry here is extremely yeah, developed. Yeah, it's even more impressive there are all than kinds I expected. Of unusual machines. Just seeing the sights as a tourist is nice, but maybe it would be better if we found something to do. Activities, do please. Think? Let's start by meeting the Hydrarchon, which I'm not looking forward to, but also looking forward to. Seven is probably still our best source for information at this point. It, we need to find the truth. Yeah, the more we can learn, the better. My sibling can wait. So, <laughs> what do you think the Hydro Archon's like? Will we get along? Nahira said that she has a very unique personality, whatever that means. <laughs> to learn about a nation's god, start with the nation's people. There seems to be some locals talking over there. Let's go see if we can join the party! Okay. Also, I have a couple of theories about Fontaine I would like to share with you all today. Um. If you ask me, it's a tragedy how things ended for him. Hmm? Clearly, he was a pretty decent person. Yeah, I didn't expect that kind of ending for him. I thought he would at least fight on a little longer for his family. Huh? I was expecting a sudden plot twist, but it's a pity that it never happened. Still, his story is quite the tearjerker. Uh, excuse me. Can I help you too? I couldn't help but notice <gasps> you standing here listening. Lynette! Uh, Lynette! Hi. <laughs> We're travelers new to Fontaine. And we had something we wanted to ask, but you seem to be really busy talking about some kind of play, so we didn't want to interrupt. A <laughs> uh, play? Oh, no, no, no. We're talking about something that really happened. In fact, it's a case that was just heard a few days ago. Really? Like, a real trial? But the way you were talking about it and the 
words you used just now made it sound like some kind of story. Well, good tales are often based on true stories, aren't they? And what you see in reality may also be someone deliberately putting on an act while harboring ulterior motives. Whether something is true or not simply isn't that important. The main uh, thing is whether the story being acted out on the stage is splendid enough. But this is an actual oh, trial. But it looks like you're not from around here. You probably don't know that the Fontaine Court of Justice is called the Opera Epicles, or more commonly known as just the Opera House. So they see trials as a sort of opera? But, uh, shouldn't court cases be treated a little more seriously than that? Not to question Fontaine's way of doing things, it's just that putting someone on trial is usually a very serious thing. <laughs> no worries. Other visitors to Fontaine have wondered the same thing. You could say that we just don't want to waste the moving stories behind those cases. And as for your worries about whether the cases are treated with due reverence, we have the absolutely just and honorable Chief Justice Novillet. As well as Novillet, that's his name. Bernalis Cardinal, a machine created by the Archon. Between the machine and the Chief Justice, false charges and injustice are a thing of the past now. Judgment device created by the Archon. You're a trace? This is some kind of machine too? She oh, just said that by mind. Were you not listening? We should check it out if we get the chance. Wait, I might almost forgot to ask you a question. Um, do you know what we should do if we want to meet the Hydro Archon? Oh, that's easy. Just go to the Opera House. Lady Farina practically lives there. You could definitely say it's her biggest passion. Uh -huh. I think what they mean is that they wish to speak with the Archon personally. In that case, I'm afraid it's going to be a tad more difficult. You'll have to make an appointment well in advance, and it'll depend on whether or not she has any time slots available. Make an appointment? Huh. Is the Hydro Archon super busy taking care of official stuff? Wait, did you say that she's always at the Opera I'll go eat your food, Steve. Let's go no, get some no. yums. Lady Farina seldom takes an interest with the nation's affairs. The reason it's difficult to make an appointment is simply because she's incredibly popular. But that's popular. like right there. I want to go talk to her. That's right. After all, she is the Archon. Oh, you're so Though cute. Though she may tend to get a little dramatic from time to time, people can't get enough of her. Huh. First time Paimon's ever heard of an Archon being described that way before. <gasps> Wait! Paimon gets it now! The Hydro Archon is kind of like a big celebrity here, right? Yeah, I suppose you could say that. <laughs> Perhaps you could even say our mascot. Hang on. This is still Fontaine's Archon you're talking about. You should show some more respect. Uh. Yes, you're right. I guess I should at least try to be a little more respectful in front of visitors. Otherwise, I might get arrested and find myself face to face with Monsieur Nouvellette. <laughs> Come on. Sure, there's a lot of laws here. But nobody's going to be arrested for saying something disrespectful about the Hydro Archon. Well, seems like they like her. Alright, I think we get it. Thank you! At least we now know that we can find the Hydro Archon at the Opera House. Do you notice Lynette too? But Let me... who knows how long making an appointment will take? <sighs> Guess we could have a look around the city in the meantime. Hey, what are you looking over there for? There's a girl over there. Huh. Maybe something's the matter. <gasps> she isn't going to jump into the water, is she? Uh, maybe we better go check on her. Oh, uh, well, thanks, visitors. <laughs> Alrighty. Lynette, don't do it! I'm kidding. No, she's fine. Lynette, wait, are you though? Lynette, you good, girl? so cute. Ah, uh, I'm fine. Thanks. Oh, okay then. We just noticed that you seem to be worried about something. About many things, actually. But there's nothing I can do but just keep my troubles to myself. Why? I was just reminiscing about a place my brother and I would play when we were kids. It was just atop that hill over there. See? Uh, you're pointing at the 
Sí. <laughs> Wait. Maybe are you they're mermaids. You and your brother lived in the water? Or fantastical race from Fontaine. Though people call the waters around Fontaine a sea. It's actually just an inland lake that's filled with fresh water. And though I can still see that hill clearly in my memories, now it's been completely submerged. He would skip and jump, tossing sand in the wind. The sun shone brightly, and the air was filled with the scent of the sea. But now, the water is gradually swallowing our memories. Oh. Mm. It won't be long before it swallows us. Get what you mean. Ah, I don't believe <gasps> Lynette! The pleasure of Not me. Lynette. Lenny! Sorry. Are you Lynette's new friends? Oh, and you are? Thanks for looking after my sister. She often comes here to reminisce about our childhood, that's all. There's no need for any concern. Oh, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Linny, and this is my sister Lynette. If I had to guess, I'd say you must be travelers from abroad. Bro, Lenny is the definition of gender. Like, he's neither or. He's just gender. I love him so much. I love both of them. I love all of the siblings. I want all three of them. Nice to meet you! Paimon is Paimon, and this is a traveler! We just arrived in Fontaine! We were just talking with your sister! Uh... Even though we didn't really get what she was saying. Hmm, I see. It's unusual for Lynette to be so willing to talk with anyone. In fact, she seldom speaks at all. I'm usually the only one she ever talks to. Oh, really? Then you two are just like us! Paimon's always the one talking to Yeah, I wonder why. Why can't I speak? Give me a voice. There's hardly anything left for me to say when you're around, Paimon. <laughs> so that's how you think it is? I also think my brother can be too talkative at times. Yeah, Lynette, we get each other. <laughs> Seems you were right, Paimon. We are quite similar. <laughs> so, what did Lynette mean just now when she said that the water is engulfing your memories? And that it won't be long before it engulfs you too? Oh, that. It's from a prophecy that's been circulating in Fontaine for some time now. Well, I suppose prophecy isn't exactly the right word, because that implies a certain amount of uncertainty. There's no doubt about what's happening in Fontaine now. What is happening in Fontaine? Where to begin? Hmm. Can't believe we're meeting them already. Let's put that question on hold for a moment. We still haven't formally greeted each other yet, have we? Uh, did all the introductions earlier not count? Paimon, be nice. <laughs> Hello, traveler. How do you know me? Hello, Lenny. And hello, Paimon. Hey! When is Paimon get a handshake? You're not poking fun at Paimon, are you? <laughs> Please, don't take offense. Just consider it a sort of etiquette we have here in Fontaine when making new friends. You should Did remember Did you pickpocket it. me? It might prove useful. Okay. Oh, all right then. Well, Paimon's just happy to have a local friend now. By the way, we were just getting ready to go to the Opera House to meet the Hydro Archon. Would you be able to show us the way? <sighs> so you're going to see Lady Farina? No problem at all. In fact, I was planning to go to the Opera House later myself. I'll gladly take you once I finish things here. Please, okay, follow me. Okay. Oh. Follow Lenny. Man. Can you, can you walk a bit faster, bro? You said you were going to see Lady Farina? Well, it seems Lady Farina has come to see you. What? Hello, madame. Oh. 
Oh boy. Huh. So, she's the Hydra Archon? But, how did she know we were looking for her? My dear people, rich and poor, those with cup in hand and those with nothing at all. Raise your glasses in celebration! If you don't have one, then just raise your hand in lieu. Okay. As you can all see, two unfamiliar travelers have arrived in our nation. Come, let us make a toast in honor of this traveler and her companion, who have journeyed here from distant lands. Uh, thank you? Uh, she talking about us? Nobody here seems to be holding a glass. I've long what is... heard of the turmoil and chaos you left in your wake as you visited other nations. Turmoil and chaos? But I welcome you nevertheless. No, I have come to receive you personally. Okay. Fear is for insignificant cowards. I am a god, and I will Are never entertain go? the notion of such meaningless wariness. You can be rest assured. I see clearly your sincerity. Of course, seeking an audience with me is the most sensible thing to do. It will allow you to truly behold my power and witness my authority. Intelligent people always gather under the <laughs> correct banner. I, Fosalor, hereby welcome you to the nation of Hydro and acknowledge the value and significance of your trip now you may rejoice in this well finding you was the easiest you're the easiest per archon we found besides yeah. um I can't believe it feels like we've only been here for a few minutes but the hydro archon's entrance was uh how should i mind describe it a little over the top <laughs> you inevitably lack even some of the most basic understanding. Don't forget that even the gods can be divided into the mediocre and the excellent. I suppose it's only natural for you to be awestruck by my abilities. Did you, you like had best stop and consider. Do you really have the noble qualities and etiquette necessary to communicate with a god? It Bro, it was that guy! Finger for me to know everything about you. He was your informant. Talk about sounding high and mighty. Feels like she can't get over herself. <laughs> oh? What's with these looks? Perhaps the welcoming ceremony still Um, I just want to explore your nation without my ba what without being breathed down on the neck. I say then? Uh, is she waiting for us to start talking? Wow, I didn't expect to see Lady Farina here. What a surprise! Wait, does this mean they're the legendary blonde traveler? How did I not notice before? Hey, what's all the commotion? Oh, is that Lady Farina? Is there some kind of drama going on? Of course, that's the blonde traveler. The one all those stories are about. Lady Farina came here to personally see her. Oh, uh. I bet this is going to be the duel of the century. Wait, duel? Ooh, Hello? Got to see this. I knew Lady Farina would never disappoint. Wait, duel, excuse me? I did not come here to fight. <laughs> yes, but don't get too excited now. My dear believers and spectators alike tend to get quite rowdy. And despite the noise, I've come to tolerate all their ruckus. What kind of Archon are you, bro? You may consider this my reward to all of you. I have determined that there will be an epic duel between myself and this tribe. I didn't agree to this. Land, just as you were hoping to see. Uh, now she wants to fight? Aren't we getting a little ahead of ourselves? 
Fighting gods? I've got a resume. Bro, I fought A. What else do you want from me? I fought the god of Electra. Provoking a god in front of her. She people? said she wanted to duel. <laughs> Stand down, Clorend. I admire her bravery. Few have the courage to draw their sword against a god. She is obviously a true warrior. Bro, you said you wanted a duel. I'll provide Unfortunately, one. People nowadays you only phony. crave to be thrilled, and a mere duel will not slake their thirst for excitement. Huh. Yeah, she's right. Just a duel wouldn't be all that interesting. <clears throat> On Araneus, criminals are always requesting duels to defend their honor. I'm getting a bit old to tell the truth. You see, then as the god of justice, I shall face this traveler in another kind of duel. A duel in court! Right. What did I do? What are the charges? I just got here, bro. Right. This is Fontaine, after all. Such a grand opera house. It would be a pity not to use it. Why do you care so much about the crowd's reactions? Seems you've spent a little too much time in the opera house. How exactly do you plan to have a duel in court? You mean you're going to put us on trial? We haven't committed any crimes. <laughs> oh, we have reason to put you on trial. It's obvious, isn't it? Obvious. According to Fontaine Law, no one is permitted to release any flying objects within Fontaine city limits during She's the She's an actual person. What's wrong with you? You are clearly guilty of violating this law, no? No. Oh, so that's what they've done wrong. Mm, that's our Lady Farina. No one knows the laws of Fontaine like she does. Uh, you call that obvious? What kind of law is that? Wait, flying object? <gasps> you mean Paimon? Uh. Precisely. Now, if you two have no objections, then, in the name of the Hydro Archon, I order your arrest. For oh, my apologies, Lady Perina. I don't mean to spoil the fun. But if you would allow me to interject, I don't think that Paimon here meets the definition of a flying object. You tell her, Linny! Finally, someone who's not crazy. How could anyone call Paimon a flying object? I mean... Ah... <sighs> Great magician, Linny, my beloved citizen. I'll permit you to object, but how exactly do you plan to prove your claim? <laughs> As a magician who just rained on your parade, I naturally should shoulder the responsibility of saving the show. So, with such an audience gathered here, allow me to perform a trick for everyone. Huh? What? Oh, that's what he did earlier. Man, he's clever. Ta da! What's that on Paimon's back? Hey, when did you do that? Oh, when Lily patted you on the back. Yeah, I figured he did something. There. As you can all clearly see, Paimon should be classified as, well, something like a balloon. This rope has been in the Traveler's hand all along. It was just that no one could see it before. Huh? <laughs> you call that magic? <laughs> You've got to be joking. Don't be a downer. <laughs> well, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. Nice one. Huh. I'm not sure what to think. It seems Lady Farina's charges no longer hold water. Let me leave. Or explore, please. We can talk later. <laughs> amusing. Very amusing, Linny. 
Just the sort of unexpected twist that I enjoy. With you here, today's performance can finally be called complete. Performance? You see all this as a performance? In which case, consider the matter of your trial resolved. The god of justice will not bring charges against an innocent person. But when there are valid grounds, I will not only judge travelers from abroad, but even the gods of other lands. <laughs> you need to calm down, ma'am. I look forward to seeing your upcoming performance at the Opera House, Mr. Linny and Miss Lynette. That's enough for now. Toodaloo! What is her deal, man? Well then, thank you for your help, She's Lenny. Like She's gone. Well, that's the most unpredictable Archon Paimon's ever seen. I never even had a chance to ask her anything. But that's a problem for future Paimon. That whole scene just now was really. Thanks for bailing us out, Lenny. Don't mention it. I just happened to remember that there was such a law, so I did a little preparation, just in case. I didn't think it would actually come in handy. So, now do you see what kind of god Lady Farina yep, is? Yep, I am going to be she very can annoyed. Be a bit confusing at times, but she is still amenable to reason. Yeah, confusing is a good way to put it. Anyway, Paimon had no idea you were a magician, Linny. It sounded like you'll be performing at the Opera House, right? How did you not know he was a magician? <laughs> I just know a few simple tricks I use to make a living. Lynette is my assistant. It will actually be my first time performing on the most prestigious stage in Fontaine, the Opera House. But isn't the Opera House where criminal trials are held in Fontaine? When there are no public trials being held, the Opera House hosts a variety of other performances. To the people of Fontaine, the line between a trial and a performance can be a little blurred. And speaking of performances, I would be remiss to forego this opportunity gifted by fate. Might I invite the two of you to see my performance? Ah, oh, yes. My brother's always excited to make new friends. Oh, sure. We don't really have anything to do now. And we wanted to go to the Opera House anyway. I would be most delighted. Splendid. In that case, why don't we go together? I'll show you the way. I just have something to take care of first. Is there any way I can help? <sighs> You really mean it? Then I'll take you up on your offer. I'm a... Uh, this uh, is a magical item known man. as a magic pocket. Perhaps you can help me distribute them to the people here. Oh. Huh? What are they going to use it for? About that. Hmm. You asked me before about the prophecy, right? Let me start by telling you a little more about what it entails. I'm not sure exactly when it began, but a prophecy has been circulating around Fontaine. It oh. says that every person in Fontaine is born with sin. No matter how the Nation of Justice holds trial after trial, this sin cannot be absolved. Until one day, the water levels in Fontaine will rise, and the sinful people will slowly be drowned. In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. Oh. That sounds pretty gloomy. Why are people in Fontaine born with sin? What is that supposed to mean? There are lots of guesses. Some say that the ancestors of Fontaine stole the power of the seas and stirred its wrath. Others say that the people of Fontaine never heeded the first Hydro Archon's warnings and offended oh. Celestia. But here in Fontaine, evidence is what matters. There hasn't been concrete evidence for any of these claims, so they can only be regarded as conjecture. If even the people in Fontaine don't know what sin they committed, wouldn't it be better just to ignore the prophecy completely? 
That's already what they do. That's exactly what the people did at first. But in the last few years, the water levels in Fontaine have actually started rising. Hmm. Many places have already been completely submerged and now lie beneath the sea. Many people carry on with their lives as before and shrug it off as a natural phenomenon. But my family and I think that the people of Fontaine shouldn't ignore the possibility, which would end up sentencing them to death. This is true. I hope that at least the people who reside near the waterfront can move away before it's too late. So, we've started distributing magic pockets to them. As a magical item, these magic pockets have astonishing capacity. I'm sure they will come in handy when people are moving their belongings. Aww. Oh, Hyman gets it! It's like preparing for a rainy day! More than a bit of rain. If the prophecy is true. Hmm. Perhaps only absolute power could ever contend with such a catastrophe. <laughs> but who knows? We're just tiny specks in the grand scheme of things. Now, if you'd like to help, then please give these magic pockets to anyone nearby. Be sure to convince them to take it, regardless of what they say. All right. Okay, we got Lenny's magic pocket. Now we gotta go pass them out. Can I, like, go upstairs? Or should I just do this first? You know what? I'll do it first. I'll take my time. Story first, explore later. So you're the blonde traveler that everyone's been talking about. My apologies for not recognizing you earlier. Here, take this. Oh... A magic pocket? Seems you really thought of everything. I guess it's better to prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Yep, yep. Thanks. Uh, please, also thank the magician on my behalf when you get the chance. Of course, sir. What the heck? Huh. What's this? So you also believe in the prophecy. <laughs> Keep it. I won't have any use for it. What? You mean you don't believe in the prophecy? No, no, I believe in the prophecy. But I also believe in another He's got story. the handlebar mustache. The story says that people once lived in the ocean. They were one with the ocean and couldn't live apart from it. But as time wore on, people desired to live on land and developed blood vessels, encapsulating the sea within their bodies. Thus could people set foot on land. So, if you ask me, when the water rises and takes us all, it'll be huh. like we're going that's another to way to look at it. Oh, we hadn't heard that one before. But people can't live underwater, they'll die! You should probably still take it. If not, then at least for holding luggage. Uh, all right, I'll take it. I guess I just feel that being dissolved into the water doesn't necessarily mean death. Uh, he has a way of looking at things. Are you tired down by your job, sir? Is this very taxing? Is this why you feel this way? Would you be like, if the city went underwater, I wouldn't have to go to work the next day? I get those days too. I felt like that today. <laughs> all right, anyways. I'm gonna just dove into the water again. I can't wait to do the underwater exploration. I'm not sure when that will be, though. I don't know if I can just dive in right away or not. Huh? <laughs> I don't want that thing. The way I see it, if the prophecy's true, it's still gonna be a long time before the water can cover everything. Wait, oh, is Life that... is all about living in the moment. What use is there in worrying about the future all the time? That's also a good we'll thought cross process. That when we get to it. Hello, Kirby Land. One, two, three, four. Still take it. Never know Welcome to the stream. Me. I hope you brought bread, your friend Fred, yeah, right, and you're ready for Fontaine. Thanks. It's just that if I start moving, that means I've already given up on the life I have now. I'd really rather not. That's fair. I can see why people are hesitant about this. Where's Lenny? Oh, there he is. All right, I did it. Oh. You already handed out all of the magic pockets? There's only three people. That was fast. So, 
What did people have to say? I bet you heard some uh, interesting opinions. No kidding. Yes, but that will change once disaster strikes. I know they'll change their minds, so it's only right to help them prepare. Is there anything else you need to do before we leave? Yes, one last thing. I have the magic pockets made by a workshop in the Court of Fontaine. Since we're out and about, I was thinking about bringing him some more materials. So, you want to collect materials? Just tell us what the materials look like and we'll help! Many hands make light work! Oh, that would be much appreciated. We'll need some Romaritime flowers. Romaritime. I remember seeing them near the waterfront on the east side of the harbor. Okay. Uh... Eh? Wait, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh. It's down here. Okay, I was just making sure it's, like, not up there still. Oh, wait. No. Wait. No. Yeah. <laughs> you still like the content and the characters? Yeah. It's all good. I feel like people can get back into Genshin anytime. But... Oh, that's so cute! Oh, they look so pretty! What's this? Oh my god, new stuff to collect. I'm glad I have Coco Me on me. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. Alright. Oh. I want to collect all of them. That's so pretty. I love that. <laughs> Lenny, I got the flowers. You made quick work of that. I can tell you're an experienced traveler. I've also finished collecting a few here. Maybe next time you'll feel like helping too, Lynette. No way. I'm in power saving mode today. Otherwise, I fear I may not have any energy left for the performance at the office. Oh, she is like a cat lazy. <sighs> Fine. Though the performance is still a long way off. Now that we're finished here, we should get ready to head back to the Court of Fontaine. We're going to the court of I love how their hair kind of matches with what vision they have. Good. Hana wants a tour of Fontaine's largest city and try. Hmm? What? Why did we suddenly stop talking? Wait, shh. Have you noticed that person over there? The young girl. Huh? What's wrong with her? I must didn't notice anything. <laughs> She's obviously a thief. Magicians oh. and thieves practice similar methods. We divert attention and a distracted audience is one that won't discover what you're really doing. Watch her movements carefully. Huh. Oh, he's right! Shh, keep your voice down. We need to think of a way to catch her. But it seems she's very alert. Perhaps we should split up. You two can ride the lift over there and wait up top. I bet that'll be her escape route if she tries to run. Understood. All right, let's go. He has good eyes. That was like a, such a weird cut, though, of silence. It's like Paimon just suddenly abruptly stopped talking, which is very unusual for Paimon. All right. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god! Sorry. Baguette! Good doggy, good doggy. Oh my god, Baguette. His name is Baguette. Oh my god, y'all. I love it. Oh my god, these are some steep steps, man. And Volsalor was up here. She was even standing on a box, if I remember correctly. Like, bro, you know, Volsalor, I feel you on the mood of, like, um, shortness, you know? 
Like, I'm short too. So, I, I feel her. I feel her. Ooh, this is a really pretty lift, though. Oh, it spins. I'm, uh... I feel like I'm getting PTSD flashbacks from being inside those giant robots. Oh, God. Let me out! How tall is this thing? Hello? This is a long lift. Any day now. Oh my god, the elevator music. Hello? Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Uh, what's this? Oh, wait. Um. Wait, where's the... Hold on, I want to go grab the statue. Oh, I got an achievement. Thank you very much. Alright, let me go to party setup. Party in blind, there it is. And I'm actually gonna put the traveler and go close to the spot real quick. This world is full of un- Okay. Because I still have the Sumeru traveler. Yay, I did it! Oh my goodness. <gasps> I need that. I need to go fight him. I don't believe you. This thing must be fine. Yeah, maybe it's because all that hydro energy has been released. Hey. I'm going to in Fontaine, you can use elemental energy properly. You can even swim underwater. Oh! Oh, why is this still on? I'll be lonely going underwater alone. Oh, yeah, but, but being... Yeah. Oh, Paimon doesn't join me? I'll find out then. Okay, I guess I travel underwater. A mysterious power that flows from a statue to imbue you with the blessing of the transoceanic source water. Your progress will remain unhindered so long as you are moving through the lakes of Fontaine. Under the protection of transo... Transoceanic source water, what you expend while moving underwater is not stamina, but aquatic stamina. As such, when your aquatic stamina is expended, you will not drown. Yes. Hold on. I wanna. I wanna resonate with Hydro. Yay! Look at Lumian! I have blue on me now! Oh, it's so pretty! I can't for the day. I can't wait for the day we can have red. Oh, look at her flowers. This color is really pretty. I saw the blue on Aether. The blue really suits Aether. Here, I'll give you one Oculi. Because that's all I have. Okay, nice. Oh, so what's this? Huh? Oh, I guess the event details are open up now. Ah. Oh. I see. So this is like a collection thing. Oh, okay. We're gonna have to do this at one point. Y'all, we're gonna have to do this. Rare brilliant coloration can be found throughout Fontaine. A terrestrial flower bred by humans, extremely rare in the wild. It is usually found within artificial environments such as gardens. A terrestrial flower that symbolizes parting, usually seen within deep, damp, and wet environments. Huh. Oh, look at this little guy. What are you? Wait, I wanna look at you. Oh. Huh? A ball-shaped algae floating in the tides often found in shallow waters with abundant plant life. Barrel conch, a type of conch that dwells in the seabed, commonly found in Fontaine's underwater ruins. Amphibious plant with soft roots is found in habitats across Fontaine. Oh. Bleacher. Uh, oh, okay. Alright, I'll have to do this at some point. Alright, cool. I got this as well. Uh, bop, give me my primos. Alright, I wanna... Oh, wow, look at me, I'm just pointing! You! <laughs> Water jet? So if I hold down, I literally just, like, pro propel bullets at people. Oh, huh, interesting. Okay. This is the spot where Lenny wanted us to wait. Oh, there she is. Oh, look! Isn't that her? Get ready 
to stop her. Oh no! Did she notice us? She started running the other direction! I'm on. What should we do? Should we chase her? I, I don't know. Our job is to block this path. <sighs> You're right. She might also be trying to lure us away. You wait, but there's no sign of the thief. Nothing's happened for a while now. I'm a wonder if Lenny caught the thief. Oh, I see Shiny over there. She's there. She seems there's no reason for us to stay here. Yeah, let's go. Rockula right there. I'm dumb. Okay. Uh, alright. Oh, he's right there. Okay, good thing I didn't go lower. Are you sure that's all she took? You should check to make sure you're not missing anything else. I love the tree over there. No, that was all. Oh, I can't thank you enough. I didn't notice a thing earlier. Anyway, I should be going now. Thanks again. Oh, were you returning with the thief at Stolen? That's right. Pity I wasn't able to catch her. She distracted me by dropping the thing she stole on the ground. By the time I looked back, she was already gone. I saw the general direction she went, but Linny twisted his ankle, and uh, I needed to Lenny. make sure he was okay. Really, bro? Oh. Did you get hurt, Lenny? I'll be all right. It's just a twisted ankle, that's all. In fact, it's feeling better already. If you want to play at being a hero, at least try not to get hurt doing it. Imagine what would happen if you managed to derail our performance as a result. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Sorry, Lynette. <laughs> the way she's looking. <sighs> I have to admit that the thief was even more skilled than I had anticipated. But at least we were able to get the stolen items back, so it wasn't a complete failure. What a slippery little thief! Guess things turned out all right in the end, though. Lily's initiative paid off! All right, let's put this little detour behind us. We should go to the Court of Fontaine now. Yay! Also, I want to look at this statue real quick. Like, I, it does kind of look like Volsalor. But also, it doesn't, you know? Does that make sense? I don't know how to describe that. Ride the aqua, but oh, okay. Oh, Paimon, slow down. So, we ride this thing to go into the city? What an ingenious way to get around! People in Fontaine really know how to use water! This is an aqua bus. It allows people to travel between several key locations an around aqua bus. Fontaine. That's funny. It's pretty convenient, but the ride can become a little dull after a while. The scenery is always the same. That's why it's better to travel with friends. So you mean it's still boring even when I'm riding with you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, no, that's not what I meant. It's just that, uh, well, you don't really talk that much. It's true. She doesn't Besides, know. it doesn't really feel like a real trip when it's just the two of us. It's the same as being at home. <laughs> hmm. Whatever. <sighs> Strange siblings they are. Yes, that's what it's like to be an older brother. <laughs> it's about time for us to leave. Let's get on board. I want to know who your parents are. Are you guys like, are you guys like blood related? Are you guys like adopted siblings? Like, I have questions. <gasps> Charlotte! Yo, Charlotte! Huh? What? Traveler! Paimon! Hello! Hey. It's Charlotte! Oh, I never guessed I'd bump into you all riding the aquabus. In the story of my life, this is big news. 
What are you doing in Fontaine? I didn't hear anything about you paying us a visit. Yeah, it's quite the coincidence. But as travelers, we're always on the move. It's not surprising that nobody knew we were coming. Uh, though we still have no idea how the Hydro Archon knew about us. Oh, let Paima introduce you to our new friend. I'm pretty sure she knows who they are, oh, Paima. No need for introduction. Yeah. Paimon. I would recognize the great magician Linny and his assistant Lynette anywhere. I wouldn't be much of a reporter if I didn't know who they were. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Charlotte, a reporter for the Steambird. Huh. Nice to meet you. From the Steambird, huh? We've often relied on your paper so, to You guys live in the same town and never met once? I guess Fontaine's huge then. It's an honor to meet you. Strange. <sighs> now that everyone knows each other, Fontaine suddenly doesn't feel like such an unfamiliar place. Yay, friends. So, what have you been up to lately, Charlotte? Any big news? Not too much. When there isn't any breaking news, I mainly cover the trials at the Opera House. You could still manage to keep readers' attention as long as you tell things from a clever enough angle, even if it's the same old topics. For example, reporting on how a scammer once deceived vulnerable girls into relationships, uh. or how a financial criminal was once so poor that they ate a single piece of bread for five days. That would definitely get my attention. Oh, you're right. Seems you know me pretty well. What I'm really after is exclusive, sensational news pieces that could shake the country. These smaller stories are a waste of my talents. Oh, I just remembered. I've been following a case lately. Well, a series of cases, actually. You mean the serial disappearances of young women case? Uh. That's right. These stories are the talk of the town right now, and it's probably the most mysterious case we've ever seen. Wait, 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 wait. If I'm the wait. first with a draft ready wait. to publish when the case is finally wait. cracked, and it's the headline story wait. in the Steambird? Okay. Guys, I know Fontaine is based off of Paris, but it also has sense of like kind of kind of Victorian England. When that happens, I, I wait. Think all the other reporters will shed tears of envy. I put it on I all, what? kinds of materials. I just can't wait for the truth to be revealed. Stop talking. I was talking. Hold up. Does it like keep going because we're traveling? So it does. What oh my god. The serial disappearances of young women case. You mean the culprit hasn't been found? I guess I'll explain after this. That's right. The first missing girl case happened almost 20 years ago. 20 and years ever ago? Since, after a period of time, another girl disappears. What the cases have in common is that the girls are all of a similar age and that they've all vanished without a trace. But the scariest part is that to this day, none of the girls have ever been found. Many suspects have been arrested over the years in connection with this case, but shortly after each arrest, another disappearance would always happen. Then there must be work. There must be the, more than one criminal at work. Yes, it's possible. But either way, I believe that every case has yeah, some a precise truth behind the it. The hash ringing. The hash singing. The hash minging. Yes, binging, I agree. The hash slinging. And at the slasher. very least, the family of those missing girls deserves some sort of explanation. I just imagined for a second what I would do if Lynette were to suddenly disappear. I'd pay any price to get her back, and then find a way to track down the culprit. Aw, siblings. Don't imagine that, Linny. You continue talking on the aqua bus, and before you know it, you are arriving at your destination. What a protective older brother. The music. Oh my god. Music. Well, I really 
enjoyed chatting with you. Life should be full of pleasant little surprises like this. Yeah, us as well. The ride went by too quickly. Ah, I have an interview to get to. I should get going before I'm late. All right. Okay, Hyman hopes we can chat again soon, Charlotte. See ya. Hi, Charlotte. <laughs> Bye now. Oh, be sure to stop by and see me at the Steamberg when you have time. What a tough job. Always running around and interviewing everyone. <sighs> we kind of do that too once in a Where while. Where should we go now? If you don't mind, how about we stop by my home first? Besides, I still have all the materials we collected. Yeah, where do you and Lynette live? Sure, we wouldn't mind at all. This city is so huge, I might want to know where to start anyway. Mm, is it that big though? I swear Sumeru is bigger. Or no, Leeway. Leeway better at least. Then again, maybe not. Maybe Fontaine is the biggest city. I don't know how to judge by their size. Okay, maybe Fontaine is the biggest city, actually. What is that? Ooh. Man, I want to go there and sit outside and drink a nice cup of coffee with a croissant. They're so pretty. Okay. Go to where Lenny is. Oh god, I'm gonna get so distracted, y'all. I'm not gonna be able to pay attention whatsoever. Oh no. Okay, first things first. I wanna look at the shops. Actually, wait. Bro, hold up. Let me navigate through this, because this is annoying me. I need to go get this statue. Before I do anything else. Oi. Oh, there it is. Well, I'm never gonna be dry when I'm in Fonte. Alright. Well, there's one. Wait. Oh! <gasps> yes! Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> um, wait, it's up more? How do you get up more? Is there an elevator in here as well? Oh my god, the music is going ham, y'all! Oh, right, I forgot I dispatched people. Oh, I can dispatch, um, oh wait, I'm gonna dispatch Fontaine characters now. I'm gonna collect all these guys. Let me grab, I guess, doesn't matter, so there we go. Alright. Add Astra. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Are you also a clockwork puppet, Catherine? Haha, <laughs> I wonder. Do I appear like a masterpiece of Fontaine Research Institute to some? Yeah, we know you're a puppet now, so like, yeah. Okay, there's the alchemy. Keep up. Oh, here's this place. I don't know. Megquignon? Megquignon? What do we sell here? Oh, I can't. Mm -hmm. Forget you can't buy stuff at some of those shops. Okay, it's up there, I think, but how do I get up there? Do I have to, like... Do I have to go back down here to get... Oh, go up? I'm so confused. Is there an elevator I can take or something? The city has so many layers, guys. It's an onion. It has so many layers. Hold on, let me double check. Is there an elevator in here? Eh? Oh, wow. Hello? Uh, oh, okay, so there is an elevator, I was right, all right. There we go. Wait, there's multiple floors? How high up do I have to go? Okay. Oh, I love this music. It's so good. Oh my god. How tall is this? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, there it is! Okay, I got to the right floor. Let's go. Eh? I'll talk to you in a second. 
Golden Rose and Noble Hearts. Yay! Okay, that makes me feel so much better. <laughs> I now know where things are. Okay. Here. You can have another one. Okay. Virgil. I must say, the weather today is simply wonderful. You are quite the beautiful young lady. Virgil at your service. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. Um, um, pleasure. Paimon's Paimon, and at your service too. Ah, uh, such ex elegant names. Welcome to the court of Fontaine. It is a truly an honor to meet you both. I forgot I put this on. Ugh, Paimon can't stand much more of this. How did you know we're not from Fontaine? Hmm, with a glance, it's obvious that you're... You, huh? That you're unsatisfied with being ba bathed in the soft lights of the city. But feels a call to wild, which will... He almost called us uncivilized. I turned this off. Oh, I knew it. Thieves of the Adventures Guild are beggarly. Beggarly? Courageous warriors begging with all their heart to unlock the deepest mysteries of the world. They wake with their eyes to the stars above and sleep with their back to the abyss below. Where there is where there is an unknown domain, there is an adventurer who simply must explore it. Bravery bursting beyond the brim. I could not help but notice how your gaze is focused on many things. Perhaps you wish to study our sublime arts, our intricate clockwork mecca, or our advanced civic culture. <laughs> Meh, it's okay, I guess. Amazing! Paima didn't even notice the decorations, but Paima did notice that Fontaine has a ton of delicious foods she's never seen anywhere else. Not bad, isn't it? We have a long and glorious tradition of gourmet culture in Fontaine. Naturally, the two of you must have take, often take your meals in great outdoors, and thus are unfortunately limited in your- Why do you talk so much? Sample the bread of Fontaine's superb cuisine, unable to experience the luxurious richness that is leisurely afternoon tea with a few pastries. I've had more of a chance to sample cuisine than you think. Hey, let's go back on topic. Pyro thinks this Virgil has a commission for us. Most excellent, my two exceptional friends. Have you heard of the Lilla Lilla Cru Crucis treasure? Nope, haven't heard of it. Then please allow me to explain. This is a legend of a lost treasure that has been passed down in Fontaine for centuries. Once there was a secret society called the Lilla Crocus Forum that was able to attract a great many blah 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 in the end the sorry, I'm gonna skip through this a bit more. Distinguished members of Forum engaged in a family battle. Must have gathered a tremendous amount of wealth. Yeah, they definitely did. Must have a huge treasure vault somewhere. And when you open it, whoa, it's overflowing with nothing but gold, shining like the sun. Correct. They wish to overthrow our beautiful fontaine and do so. Mass a fortune so vast that you could literally be said to have more money than Morax. However, this wealth was never found. Okay, so we're looking for treasure. Uh, discovery location, headquarters. Really? Think. Okay. Fontaine's water is different from elsewhere. Paimon can never forget when I rescued you. Never fear, I am here. Yeah, you'll save Paimon for sure. It's settled. Please allow me to prepare diving equipment for the two of you. Hmm, I should have the correct sizes. There's no need. Ah, yes, I remember. Vision holders may die freely in our waters. But it's you, dear Taiga. Please, of course, I do not doubt your abilities. Is a famed adventurer, and she must be aware of her limits. But it, it just so happens that I do not share the same capability, so I will have to rely on our, our homegrown technology to keep myself alive. Be that as it may, shall we begin? Yes, please. Lead the way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wait, all right, wait, 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 I thought you were- uh, Bro! Wow, it looks so heavy and so hot and stuffy. Actually, you can place mist flowers wrapped in cloth inside the lower temperature. The water. There's no time for delay. Let's go, my friends. Wait. Can we just go? Wait. Left control. Woo! <gasps> Ooh, this is so pretty. Ooh, guys, this is so fun. Gee, on. Uh, sometimes these strange clusters of transoceanic wa source water will appear beside you, allowing you to unleash power in your will and de deliver attacks. When attacking special xenochromatic Phantom or aberrance. Their powers can be absorbed. Huh. Whoa, look at this. Ooh, I can collect them? That's so cool. Oh, y'all, this is so fun. Information clues around the form. Something like this. Give me jelly. What? What? Everything is so new. 
You will sometimes see these energy emitting blocks underwater. Touching them will cause your character to absorb the energy within them, restoring aquatic stamina. Oh, okay. Alright, so it's just like a regular stamina bar. Soaked. Okay. Oh, and there's waypoints underneath the water? Oh my goodness. Ooh! This is so cool. Wait. Hold on. Where'd that guy's... Wait, where'd that guy's... Wait, is it here? Yeah. There we go. Oh my goodness! What is this thing? What does it do? Wait, what? Release from our water blades are not long and sharp and hold to aim to release. The ability cuts... Oh, I see. Oh my goodness. Man, they optimized this underwater adventure really well. Absorbs the sound of energy ability to unleash water form bubbles. What is that? Okay. I see. What's this? Is this a conch or is a barrel conch? Okay. Wait, hold on. No, I'm gonna go down. Yeah. Okay. Oh. This is so cool. Oh, wait. Do these guys, uh... So this is how you attack underwater. I see. Oh, okay. So water, attacking underwater is gonna take a while. All right. Combat underwater doesn't seem too difficult or anything like. I, I remember I was watching the special program. The creators wanted to make like to me. Oh, that's so sad. Wanted to make sure that, uh, oh gosh, uh, that the, um, that you could explore more than fight underwater. They didn't really want to add a lot of combat because of the clunkiness. Oh, he has a little upset. I'm sorry. That makes me feel so bad. That's so cool though. All right. Okay. Treasure. Oh. I'm sorry, bud. What was this? More conscious? More barrel conscious? Oh. What does that do? Huh? Oh, Mora. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna get distracted by everything, y'all. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, does it like refresh after a while? Oh, I see. Ow! I didn't mean for that to happen. Okay. Okay, I see. I see how it is. Alrighty. And it refreshes after okay. Ooh, and this restores stamina, huh? I see. Oh, 
Oh, oh dear. Forgive me, that was my alarm, y'all. Alright. This little road exploration is actually really, really cool. I really like this. Like, this is really pretty. Ooh, there's more up there. Like, there's so much you could possibly explore. It's insane. Oh my god, it whacks me with its tail. Is there an easier way to, like, fight with this thing? Like, my goodness. Die. Thank you. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. else I'm missing? I don't think so. Oh. oh, okay. It just gives you random things. Alright. And I explored down there. Whoosh! I feel like a fish. Alright, real quick. Oh, did I get what I needed already from that one part? I think I did. I did! Let's go. Alright, nice. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. Creates a heavily armored shield capable of releasing shockwaves that can shatter stones. Holding it down will continuously expand the shield. When you release the skill, this will release a shockwave in the direction you are aiming. If you are attacked during this time, you'll unleash even stronger energy bolt. Oh. Oh, I see. So the crabs give you... Okay, so certain sea creatures give you that. Got it. Why is it telling me there's an enemy nearby? Is it that crab? Oh my god, the music underwater is so pretty. Alright, hold on a second, y'all. I gotta I gotta grab something. After I collect this achievement. <laughs> oh, I got another one. Cool. Alright. Give me one second. Um let me go near the door. Hopefully I won't get hurt. <laughs> Sorry y'all about that. Oh, Alright, back to what I was doing. I'm probably gonna, after doing this side quest, hopefully this won't take too long, um, I'm probably gonna, uh, probably gonna, uh, grab some tea, like, take a short intermission, grab some tea, and then I'll be on, right on back. Shields can block the impact of underwater currents. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. There we go. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh my god, it's an old, um, robot from Sumeru in here. I'm glad it's dead and can't reactivate. Oh, 
Oh. Okay, that would help, like, a lot with battling things. I didn't know. Okay. Noted. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Noted as well. What else did I do? Uh, here. I got defeat seven opponents in Fontaine's Underwater Zone. Nice. Did that too. Okay. This place is so pretty. Oh, is this like a breakable rock? It is. Ooh, hydrofly. Oh, are hydroflies underwater? Oh, interesting. No. Gimme. Okay. Alright, I don't think there's anything else left in there. Is that painting kind of thing? No. Oh my god, the music. underwater life form that can fire energy bolts made by characters. Holding down the armored shield can allow it to absorb attacks and release them as energy bolts, giving your attackers a taste of their own medicine. Okay. I'm so confused. Oh my god. What is happening? Oh, I get it. Okay, that was very confusing. It's like, what is happening? I am very low health. Okay, uh, Lumine? I need to eat food, darling. It's, a uh, we're running low. I'm just like swimming around in a panic here. Let's see the other thing. There we go. Okay, I get it now. At least I have like um, a shield on me. Anything else around here? Oh, a bunch of hydroflies. Ooh, cool. Alright, I think I got everything in here. Oh, there's that. Alright. Sweet. Ooh. So a lot of these waypoints are underwater, huh? Interesting. I am a fish. I am a fish. Fish. I am a fish. I am a fish. Look at me go. Okay. Alright, how unfortunate. kind of fly out of the water. That's cool. Yay. Alright. <laughs> oh. As a sign, it's the same love as every first genre since the disaster. I am not reading all of that. That is a lot of lore. Who writes these? Like, I'm honestly quite curious. Is that it? Is that all the- there's like a bunch of sparkles right there. Am I not? Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Another one? Okay. Alright. Oh. Proceed onward. Back to 
doing research. Okay. Trying to go by this a little bit faster. Side quests are like so kind of like, oh my god, please just let's get going, buddy. I want to get back to my main quest. I, I literally said in the beginning of the stream, I'm going to stick to the main quest, but then I, here I am just getting sidetracked like usual. Uh, every time, man. Every time. This always happens to me. Get my thing to log. Why are there so many words? Okay, my goodness, find a way to open the path forward, okay. A mysterious clockwork mecha device created by the special energy system produced by Fontaine. It possesses three energy sources, Oshia, Balanced, and Numa, and these states are, can be altered when attacked by their opposite and among the three. The balanced state should be their proper state objects exist in. But as with many things in the world, what is proper is rarely what is common. Okay. What's this? Numa block. Uh, energy blocks can be naturally occurring or artificially created and are separated into Numa blocks and Oisha blocks. After collecting an energy block, your next normal charge or plunging attack will hit, re release the energy within, and then come in handy. Fontaine. Eight of these energy blocks, characters can unleash Numa or Oisha energies while underwater. Most characters from Fontaine have an R key and thus can use their attacks to trigger energies corresponding to their R key attribute. Water without the use of Numoishia blocks. Huh. Okay. Wait, so if I like. Oh. Uh, these are properties found in life forms, earth, air, water, Fontaine, the collision between these properties causes an annihilation and production of greater energies and the principle of the powers of many clockwork mecha. Power supply to make the mecha unstable. Okay. I see. Alright, and then I guess I need this one. I need to hit it with this one. Ah, I see! Okay, that's pretty standard. Okay, got it. Yay, I did it! Alright. Uh... Uh-huh. Alright, treasure hunting we go. Last time we hunted for treasure, we got bamboozled. Look so cute. Oh, nice. Is there anything else I'm missing in here? It came from there. Where'd he go? Where'd that little crab go? Where'd he go? He was around here. Where'd he go? I saw him somewhere. Where'd he go? Oh, he was literally right around here. Where'd he- what happened to him? Did he like go above the water or something? I'm so confused. Where did he go? Oh well. Huh? Uh huh. Yeah, I, I know that much. Okay. Let's get some of those. Hmm? But do I have to like split them in two? Okay, hold on. 
Oh, yeah, okay. exploring yet. I gotta make sure I clear out every area I swim into. Saw something from oh, oh, mushroom. Oh. What are you? Keep up. show him that trick of yours again. Ugh. Okay. Alright. I, I didn't read any of that, but let's go. Um. Oh, I need a key. Okay. Water ruins are really cool. I didn't want to sit. Bruh. There we go. The enemies, the enemies here aren't too tough, thankfully. Okay. Radish wheat. Ancient log that I'm not going to read. Okay. Hello! Hello, little friend! Take me on a journey! Oh my god, I went through the. Okay, well. Oh, phew. Oh, okay. I guess. I guess we're going up. Alright, cool. Where I'm going. 
stuff today. Huh? Oh, huh. It's also a hydro somewhere. Oh, okay. Okay, got it. It's easier to do now. Oh there we go. Oh my god, that was hard. I don't know why that's so difficult for me to master. Either way, moving on. store or do I need a key? Oh no I don't. Uh, oh god you gotta be no Go! one with the force yeah I hate you. these things why are you guys here you can't I run. hate them like Awesome. Alright, I needed that. Man, chat's very dead right now. Very sad. Okay. Before I continue this fight, I need to put Coco Me back. Uh, okay. So let me. Get Coco me back up. What does the Fontaine background look like? Ooh, pretty. Alright. Alright, come we here. Need a strategy. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright, come here, bud. I can heal myself. <laughs> Can't see? Yeah. Rah. something. It's like common courtesy here. Come on. Rude. Can you believe the the nerve of that of that of that guy? Anyways. Alright. Hundreds of million Amora? That would be nice. 
Treasure, here we come. things on such high shelves. I'm a short person. This is not fair for me. Man, even the game can sense I'm short and likes to see my struggle. Jeez Louise. Okay. Okay. It's a little mini. What the heck? Do they like record robots here or something? What's going on? I'm so confused. Oh. Another ancient log that is like insanely long and I will not read. Normally I would read things, but right now I just kind of want to get through the story as quickly as possible today. So I don't want to have like a like five hour long stream today because I know you guys would probably be like, whoa, what the heck? We can handle it. Alright, hopefully it won't wake up, but it just might. Alright. Ooh, cutscene, hello. I knew this guy was sus. Great. Well, joke's on you, buddy, because I got a healer. I got a healer, bud. I'll just wait for it to stand up. And shroud. I hear everything. Yeah, just like I thought. Allow me. Ow. This will not take long. Yeah, you messed with the wrong people, buddy. What? Why is it healing? Stop! Why is it healing? Hello? I'm so confused. What? I guess I have to do something while it's down or something. Let's nip that in the butt. Ow! 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 of glass. I cannot. Let's move Do I have to kill it like up there or something? Lord away. Stay down. Yeah, no kidding. Let's break the glass wall. Okay. All right. Water. I don't know. This is all the raging waters. The ruined guard ceases to function. Let's go. Oh god. Oh god. What am I doing? Okay. I guess I'm being swept away. Alright, here I 
go. Oh my goodness. People did used to live here. That is upsetting to think about. But hopefully we're heading back to- Oh my god, look where we are. Seems to be a harvest of flowers and flowers nearby. Oh, really? Wee! <laughs> this place is so pretty. Just following the current. Probably somewhere very far. Ooh, this is really fun. I like this. They really optimize this very well. Like, I feel like I would get, like, I feel like people who get motion sickness easily, like, I, I think they'd be alright with this because it's actually well controlled. Oh my god. We're out! We're out. Oh my lord. We did it. We're free. Woo, look at this. Okay. Go, Razor, go! Go, Razor, go! Oops, oops. Whee! <laughs> oh my god, there's so many teleport points underneath Fontaine. That makes sense. Yay! Alright, I'm gonna have a lot of uh, underwater exploring I'm gonna have to do at some point. This is already a lot. Okay, I'm getting myself carried away here. I should, I should calm down. Let's open up the map real quick. Where are we? Oh my lord. Jesus. Where did I go? <laughs> uh, is this all under Fontaine? Oh my god. Okay. Old quest. I go here. Oh, that's not locked. Teleport? Uh... Oh my goodness, where am I going? Oh my goodness. Oh, this way. Ooh. Where am I going? Oh, it's night time? Oh, what's that? Alright, well, let me grab this. Is that a skeleton? Wait, excuse me, there we go. What is this? Ooh. Oh. oh! Interesting. Okay. Where's this, um, up here? What are you? What are you? Oh, is that an oceanid? A little mini oceanid? What is it? It is a little mini oceanid. Oh, evil minions of fell dragon narcissus have surrounded Petite Chow. You must help her. Petite Chow? Narcissus. Oh, never mind. These weird names. This seems serious. Let's go over and lend a hand. Thank you. My name is Anne, a member of the Narcissan Cruise Adventure Team. Please come with me. Oh, it's so cute! You're adorable! Oh, oh god. This is a world- oh. Okay, well, we'll do that another day, darling. We'll do that another day. I'm afraid I can't help you right now, because I, 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 I got other <laughs> quests I should do. So I'm gonna teleport back here. Oh, and I'm gonna reactivate the main quest. Oh my god, I have so many. I didn't even do my commissions. Alright, let's, uh... 
Oh, I almost just dived into the water there. Okay, Lenny's home is over here, apparently. Oh, there's a teleport point there, though. Hold on. Let me get that real quick. Oh my god, exploring this city is gonna cause me to get vertigo at some point. Oh, how's my... Trap doing okay? Yeah, it looks like it. fell there. Okay, so I did go there. Is there any other shops around here? Oh, there's a there's a food place. Hold on. I want to go find something to eat. Apple? Radish? Food? <gasps> food! What do you got, sir? Yes! Give me all your food. Give me all ten of it. Yeah! Fanta, that's funny. Ooh, you there? Fontente. Don't know how to say it. Oh, wait, no. Gimme! Gimme! Coffee beans? Yes, please! Conch Madeline. A lot of seafood, I'm gonna guess. Let's go. Thank you, sir, for your patronage. Okay. What else is there? I want to zoom in. Uh, what's this? Hotel de Port? So there's a blacksmith there. A hotel right here. Actually, I want to check out the hotel. What's the hotel about? Hold up. Right here? Just the hotel? What's in here? Can I go in here? I can! I love the little fontaine symbol now. That's really cool. I never noticed it, actually. Yeah, that's neat. Oh, what? Hold on. Hello. What do you got for your menu? More recipes, let's go. This is what I'm talking about. Give me all your Fontaine recipes right now. So I may cook a variety of dishes. And never go hungry ever again. I have like a gajillion much money to spend. I am rich. Alright, so this is the market, is in the hotel. This is where you buy, like, the ingredients you need to make some food if you don't want to go hunting in the wild for it. I see, I see. Very fair, uh-huh, uh -huh. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna buy out your entire store, sir. I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna buy all your butter, all your ham. Wait, no, I wanted all the ham. Uh, I want your sugar. Yes, phone. Tell me where you are here. I want your your uh your crab roe. I want your 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 jam. And I want your your cheese. And I want your bacon. Give me all the bacon. And I want your sausages. Yeah, let's go. All right, thank you. Thank you. Hang on, let's just welcome. Hello there. Welcome, welcome. Tell who to shoot. Tell me about the performances. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is so cute. Is there like a little upstairs? So this is like where you would eat, basically. It's upstairs. Oh, this is cute! Is there any like books up here I can collect or something? What's this? Oh wow, he has a fancy dog. Wait. Boss of the hotel. Makes sense. Oh, so you can like eat here and stuff. Oh, that's cute. I like this place. All right, noted. It's a nice place to eat. Outside we go. All right, there's another place I wanted to stop by, and that was the blacksmith. I heard they have a female blacksmith in Fontaine. That makes me so unbelievably happy. And it's over here. So we're gonna stop over here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Luca? Sun- Wait, Luca and Sunny? Hold up, what? <laughs> oh, that's funny. We're that famous? Okay. Okay, I don't really care. I'm just gonna speed through this. Please, go faster. Please. 
I really need to finish some things, please. Can we hurry this along? Come on. Oh yeah, Virgil that liar. I hated Virgil. Virgil was a meanie. Go get Virgil. Come on. Man, why do you, why do like the main like the side quests always seem to take like a ton more longer than most? Anyways, where's the blacksmith this way? Blacksmith is down here somewhere. Blacksmith? She's like right around here. I sense it. Oh my god, yes! Hello! I like to buy some weapons. Oh my god, you can buy. Oh, you can buy weapons! Oh, that's so cool! Okay, and you just need these materials. I see. Alright, noted. Wait, what else? Uh. Oh, okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Alright, cool. That's neat. I like that. Oh my god, this place is like jam packed. Okay. This place is pretty. Oh, shiny. Let's go. Oh, shiny. Alright, I gotta go I gotta go help Lenny. <laughs> I've been I've been straying too far. Alright, sorry Lenny. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm sorry. I'll I'll be good now. I'll I'll, I'll do the quest. <laughs> I'm getting distracted by everything. <gasps> Permanent! Is that him? Oh my god, it's him! This is our current abode. It's very kinda in the corner and homey. I like it. Ah, Fremine. You're Oh home. sorry, Fremine. Where did everyone else go? I have some new friends that I would like to introduce. Oh, they all just went out a moment ago. Remine. Oh, that speech I time. see. Everyone is getting busier now that Father will be returning soon. I suppose that can't be helped. Hmm. Allow me to introduce you to my little brother, Fremine. He is a phenomenal diver. Hello. Oh, you're so cute. Hi. Nice to meet you. Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler. Oh, you sound very proud to have a diver as a brother, Yeah, Lenny. you sure seem to have a big family. <laughs> uh, Lenny, could you come here for a moment? Aw. Hmm? What is it, Fremine? Do you have something to tell me? It's alright, you go ahead. Hmm? Hmm. Okay, I see. Is everything alright? Oh, <laughs> it's nothing. We were just discussing a little housework. Sorry for the interruption. Oh, uh, before I forget, the Traveler and I collected more materials to make magic pockets. Were you able to get any, Fremine? Yes. I went diving and gathered lots of materials. I was about to give them to you. That's our Fremine. Always quick with the underwater work. All right, I'll take these to the workshop. It's raining? That one guy is like, oh god, rain. Hmm. Looks like rain. Well, yeah. Oh, you're right. But wasn't it clear and sunny just a moment ago? Hmm. Fontaine's weather sure is weird. <laughs> I'm afraid that's just how it is here. 
It often rains on days where there are trials being held in the Opera House, but don't worry, it'll clear up soon enough. <sighs> hmm? What's wrong, Femine? There's a legend about the rain that I tend to believe. It's said that a dragon of water once resided in Fontaine. Though we don't know where the dragon went. Aww. Every time it weeps, the skies will cloud up and pour out rain. When I was a child, my mother told me that if I wanted to go outside and play, I should yell toward the sky at the top of my lungs. Hydro Dragon! Hydro Dragon! Don't cry! If it's an elemental dragon, then having the power to make it rain wouldn't be very unusual. Hmm. Let's time on try something. Hydro Dragon! Hydro Dragon! Don't cry! <laughs> Doesn't seem to be of any use. It is just a legend, after all. You know, you might be a more popular magician if you understood the concept of romanticism. <laughs> or at least Called out. <laughs> Sorry. It might be because we've never met the Hydro Dragon. Perhaps it can't be comforted by the words of strangers. After some time, the rain stops. Hmm. It rained for longer than I suspected. Oh, it's already getting late. Was there something you needed to do, Lenny? Yeah, some preparations for the show at the Opera House. I need to find a way to catch the last Aquabus of the day. On the day of the performance, just ride the Aquabus to the island of Araneus. I'll have Lynette meet you at the fountain in front of the Opera House. Sounds good. You go ahead, Lynette. Oh, uh... Are you leaving now? What is it, Fremenet? I'm in a hurry. Oh, I get it. You feel nervous delivering the materials for the magic pockets, is that it? Perhaps we could trouble the traveler to help us take these materials to the Beaumont workshop and deliver them to the owner there? I'm afraid that Fremenet can be quite introverted. And the boss there tends to be pretty talkative. Aww. Fremenet has always been a little afraid of her. No trouble at all! Oh, baby. Sorry for the inconvenience. I'm quite useless when it comes to such tasks. Aww. I'll think of a way to make it up to you. Oh, no need, no need. This will be a walk in the park for us. Baby. Oh, I can talk to you. Thanks again, you two. I really can't deal with that lady. Oof. Okay. Can I go inside the- Oh man, I wanna go inside the house. Oh, this is like a humble abode. Are like, are they like part of like, they had father in quotation marks. Are they all adopted? Cause like, Fremenet- 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 Tay? I already forgot how to say the, the name. Fremenet, Fremenet. Fremenet, sorry, that took me a minute. Fremenet seems like, like, he doesn't look like Linny or, like, he looked cut, like, the blonde hair maybe a little bit, but, like, he doesn't really look like them at all. Meanwhile, Linny and Lynette do look like they could be siblings, but, like, I don't know. Like, I know they're all, like, I don't, I, like, did the three of them, like, decide to just become siblings, or, like, are they adopted? I have so many questions I want to know about this family. Jesus, all right. Oh, I was literally just there, okay. The black lady, the black, the black, the black, the blacksmith lady. The blacksmith lady seemed really nice. I can talk, I swear. Where am I? Oh God. Help, I'm stuck. Okay. Hello there. New customers? Looking to buy, or do you need something made? Or perhaps you're just looking for a chat with me. Oh no, we're just here to deliver some materials. Here they are. They're for making... Uh... What were they called again? Ah, these must be for magic pockets. I could tell right away. 
I've already made several orders worth now. Do we need Faye? No, no need. They've already prepaid several batches worth. When they told me what they'd be using them for, I even offered them a discount. But they insisted on paying the full amount, saying that I had a business to run. <laughs> it seems both their hearts and their pockets are made of gold. Wow. So, is Lenny actually loaded? Mm, I can't say for sure, but who knows? Maybe there's good money to be made being a magician well. in Fontaine. Hey, is this machine what you use to make stuff here? It looks really advanced. Why use your hands when a machine can do the work? It would be a waste not to use the latest technology. And wasting is a kind of crime. But where does a big machine like that get its power from? Ah, uh, well, it's a little complicated. I'm not sure I can put it in layman's terms for you. But basically, everything we usually use here in the city is powered by indemnidium. It's a type of energy that's produced from trials. Ah. Oh. How can trials produce energy? Well, I'm not completely sure of all the details myself. But basically, when a trial is in session, the Oratrice Mécanique d'Analyse Cardinale harvests people's belief in justice and converts it into energy to be used all around Fontaine. So that's what its other function is? I heard that the Oratrice was created by the Archon to make judgments. But... Paimon still doesn't get it. How could something unreliable like people's beliefs be turned into a stable power source for these machines? Well... Oh, yeah! So that means the Hydro Archon relies on the machine to take the energy created by belief and turn it into power for all of Fontaine, right? Even though I've never heard anyone really put it that way before, it sounds like it makes sense. Huh. Besides Indemnidium, we have another type of energy called Numusia. It isn't produced by the power of the Archon, but it is unstable by nature. Even now, it still cannot be widely used by civilians. <laughs> I thought I'd find you hard at work, but here you are chatting the day away. Since you're already talking, of course. I'm sure you wouldn't mind a few words with me. Y you again? Didn't I already promise you that I'd have the Morio to Conferia of Cabrier by next month? Conferia of Cabrier? Why are you hounding me now? Yeah, but how do we know that you won't go running off by the end of this month? I want 50% today. Wait, no? 70%. Huh? You. Seems business isn't so great for the workshop. We've already finished our job and delivered the materials. Maybe now's a good time to leave? Hey, hold on. Before you Child? Go, trying to collect payments, why don't you settle your own debt? I didn't think we'd run into you this early. If Confrere of Cabriere wants to poach clients from Northland Bank, that's fine. But I'm afraid you still owe the bank a hefty sum of more. So why don't we work things out between us first, before you get back to your little conversation here? Ah, uh, you're from Northland Bank. But we said we'll pay everything we owe next month. Why are you hounding me now? She literally just said that. Uh, Traveler, Paimon! I didn't think I'd run into you here in Fontaine. What are the chances? Puppy! Welcome to the Where stream! You, in Fontaine? you didn't want to stay in Stejnaya? We sure seem to have run into a lot of friends today. <laughs> Long story short, I can't believe I've already still been in Fontaine you. for some time now. And honestly, things have been pretty boring. But it seems that fate brought our paths together today. Not only will I have some good friends here now, but ones who always seem to find trouble. Either way you look at it, it seems things are going to get a lot more interesting now. Hmm. Sure I hope you had a good flight, folks. That you'd find interesting. Besides, our trip here has gone pretty well so far. Right, Traveler? I think we've already weathered enough storms for now. <clears throat> uh, hey, you, Northland Bank boy. Aren't you forgetting something? Don't interrupt. It's not often I run into the traveler like this. Why don't you wait for me over there for a while? Uh, you kidding? Aren't you the one looking for us? You really expect us to sit and twiddle our thumbs while you catch up with your friends? Yes, you jerks. Listen to me, boy. If you want your Mora, fine. Why don't you come? And oh, that was a bad move. Hey, I just said not to interrupt. Oh, by the way, traveler. 
The last time I took Tonya and Tusser ice fishing, Tusser said, Hey, that's way over the line. All right, boys, let's see who has to pay up now. Uh, can you at least let me finish one sentence? Fine. Though the bank told me not to get rough with our clients. Let's You're beat the up. ones who started it. This is an act of self-defense. <laughs> you two will have to be my witnesses, okay? It was a flight. I'll tell- oh, okay. You had to exit the plane soon. Okay. Okay, sure. I'm sure this won't take long. Yeah, have fun, child. Oh. Brace yourself. This is gonna hurt. Well, that was easy. Oh, what's your deal, Brad? How are you so strong if you're just a staffer from Snezhnaya's Northland Bank? Wait, don't tell me you're... Oh, now you notice. It's a little late, don't you think? Just make sure you understand that you don't mess with Northland Bank. Got it? Oh. Huh? Now's what? my chance! Ooh! Oh, we actually get to see a bunch of them! <laughs> Huh. That was weird. What just happened? I'm not sure. It's as if I suddenly lost control of my hydro powers when I needed them. Maybe there's something wrong with my vision? Strange. How could that happen? First time Paimon's ever heard of someone losing control of their vision. Yeah. Never mind. It doesn't matter. If I want to stay sharp, I shouldn't be relying too much on my vision anyway. Besides, I always have my delusion in case I need it. Don't lose your delusion. Don't use that too often. That's bad for you. So what are you doing on Fontaine, child? I don't see its work for Northland Bank. Well, I guess it's because I've been in a bad mood lately. Huh? What kind of reason is that? Wait, since when do you feel down about anything? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I still have a lot to learn about myself. But recently, there seems to be some sort of restless power stirring inside of me. And I don't know why, but every now and then I feel like I'm in a terrible mood. This is why you shouldn't use Maybe delusion. Maybe you losing control of your vision just now is connected with that power you're feeling inside. Hmm. That is a possibility. I can't remember if I ever mentioned it before, but when I was 14... I fell into some unknown abyss. Oh. It was during that time I learned nearly all of my abilities. The one who took me under her wing and taught me was named Skirk. She was always quiet and very mysterious. Nobody knew where she came from or what she had been through, and she was always very strict when teaching me combat techniques. One time, I asked her why she was willing to take me on as an apprentice. From what I could make of her answer, it was because I had awakened it and traces of it remained on me she said that all my combat training would be useful in the future what, eh? what is it what did you awaken oh love you too spooky talk to you later that. but my guess is that it's related to a dream i saw when i had just fallen into that abyss in my dream i was in the deepest depths of the sea and the boundless seabed was all around me but in front of me appeared a whale that was so massive, I felt like I couldn't breathe. A whale? Oh, that sounds familiar! When we fought against you before, you summoned a huge whale yeah, to you did. leap at us. Is that it was right? a narwhale. It was cute. <laughs> That's just an abstract form of a whale that I create using my elemental powers. It takes that shape because the scene I dreamt of the whale has always been stuck in my mind. I'll never forget it. So you used the whale as inspiration for one of your moves? Huh. Seems a little twisted to Paimon. So why don't you just go ask your master? Maybe she knows the answer. You make it sound so easy. Ever since the incident I experienced there, 
I've never stopped searching for Master Skur and that unknown abyss. But it's been years now, and I've still found nothing. There isn't even a trace of the place where I remember falling into the abyss. Oh, it sounds like some kind of ghost story. Yeah, I'm out of leads at this point, but there's nothing more I can do. It seems that strange encounters in this world tend to be elusive like that. Hmm. Oh, seems the time really flies when I'm talking with you. I just remembered I have somewhere else I need to be, so I should get going. What? More work for the Northland Bank? Uh, no, it's more of a personal appointment. Lately, I've been sparring with some of Fontaine's official champion duelists whenever I'm feeling bored. Official champion duelists? You mean it's their job to duel? Yep. In Fontaine, before a criminal goes to court, they're given one chance to defend their honor by requesting a duel with an official champion duelist. The champion duelists are all powerful fighters selected from among the nation's best. And the duel itself is a no-holds-barred fight with no specified stopping point. So engaging in such a duel is regarded as a symbol of defending your honor. If a criminal manages to win the duel, they'll be acquitted. But if they lose, they'll have no choice but to stand trial. And the worst case scenario is that you're simply killed in the duel. Oh my Though gosh. it's rumored that Fontaine has a death penalty, from what I can tell, no one has ever been officially sentenced to death. So really, the only people who opt to duel are those who have suffered a grave injustice in being accused, or those who greatly value their honor. Otherwise, why gamble with your life? So, do many people actually get out of their trials by winning the duel? Apparently, it's exceedingly rare for anyone to actually win. Fontaine probably enacted this system as a way to show that the nation respects the honor of its citizens. Besides, none of the champion duelists are oh to be God, trifled really with, excited there. which is exactly why I was itching to face them as soon as I got to Fontaine. Apparently, the one I'm meeting today, Clorend, is the strongest of the champion duelists. I had been asking her for some time before she finally agreed to face me today. Well, that's child for ya! Hmm. Kinda feels like we heard that name somewhere before. Floran. When we met the Hydra Archon. Oh, before I forget, I want you to have this. Eh? Huh? Your vision? Wait, why are you giving me that? Are you just giving it away? I'm just worried that it could become uncontrollable again. I'd be pretty upset if it got in the way of my duel, so... I think I'll be better off without it for now. Besides, he looks so I naked without the vision. I, that's no, that sounds weird, but it's I'll true. I'll come retrieve it when I have some time later. Hyman knows what you're up to. You just want an excuse to come talk to us again, don't you? <laughs> Whatever gave you that idea? I'll be in touch later. All right, careful, child. Despite you being a jerk sometimes, I worry about you. <laughs> that sneaky guy. He said he's been feeling down lately, but he seemed the same as ever to Paimon. Mm, I don't know. Well, guess we don't have much to do for now. We might as well walk around and see the city before Lenny's performance. Time. You under Paimon's enthusiastic leadership, you walk all around the court of Fontaine. Okay. Wow. Who could have seen that coming? Oh my god, music. The reporter who was barely around for most of the story was the murderer all along. Hey, don't blurt out the spoiler, Paimon. Uh, sorry. Jesus. I'm surprised, that's all. <sighs> Paimon never saw that twist coming. The murder mystery novels here are amazing. I never thought you'd enjoy reading, Paimon. Well, again, it's here in Fontaine are a lot different than the light novels you see from Yai Publishing House. Both have their merits, but Paimon thinks this style of novels are more... Well, novels. It's so exciting to reach the moment when the mystery is uncovered, especially in the one Paimon was just reading. You should buy a copy and read it, too. You already spoiled who the murderer is. Oh, sorry about that. Paimon will be more careful next time. Let me enjoy my books. Uh, Don't spoil the murder. Hey, shouldn't we be heading to the opera house to see Linny's performance soon? It's almost time for the show to start, so we should get going. Oh, yeah, we should. We're running Linny out of time. the opera house is on Aranea, so let's go ride the opera bus. Oh, okay. Let me grab this, though. <gasps> Wait, do you sell books here? <gasps> yes, you do, right? Yes, you do. Give me.
Let's go. Okay, thank you. Can you sell anything? Uh, I guess not. Excuse me. Um, let's see. Oh, there's the hotel. Kind of just want to walk there because I want to take in the city. It's a very lovely city. Get this. Oh, is this the steamboat? Oh! Wait, is this like the Fontaine board? Wait. But, huh? Not really. Huh. She seems like she's the lady for the Fontaine board, but okay. Food cafe. Uh, how do I get up there again? Oh. Cream and A was up there. I need to find my way to the middle of the city. Snack shop manager, hold up, what? Do you have a menu? Ah! More recipes. I will buy everything. Time to spend my purse. Take my cash. And my life savings. I need so much food, you have no idea. I need to be able to heal myself. Ooh. Pate de fruit. Come here. Yummy. Let's just fish and chips. I actually really want fish and chips now. Mm. Sounds good. <gasps> Viewpoint! I didn't notice that. Come here. <laughs> Is there a waypoint underneath the city? Oh, interesting. Ready? I'm so sorry. No! Man, I can never shoot a bird midair. I fail every time at it. Keep up. Well, anyways. I need to head to the, um... I need to head upstairs. Guess for which line did they say? I think this one. Alright, now we wait. And waiting, and waiting, and waiting, and waiting. We wait, and wait, and wait. Aha! Wait, no, get down. <laughs> Ugh, okay. Eh? Oh, did I go too high? Okay, that's fine. I can always just do this. Alright. Ooh. Wait. Okay. Sorry, sir. I meant to collect this thing. Wait, aqua bus. I don't want to take it yet. Wait, where am I supposed to go? Is it like up there? Did I, did I go down too much? Hold on. Yeah. No, let me up. Shoot. Yeah. Higher? Oh, right here. Okay. I was like, wait, where am I going? Wait, let me on. Alright. Hello, Elfane. How do you do? Immediately. Oh. Oh, this is lovely. Oh. 
Welcome oh. to the Navia line. I am Elfan. The Hello. boat will be departing imminently. Please do not stick your head, hands, or other body parts outside the boat. The Aquabus operator is not responsible for any accidents or injuries resulting from doing so. Also, please remember to buy the Steambird. Though I don't read it myself. What the heck? What's that over there? The destination of the current tour is Erinias. Points of interest worth visiting include the Fountain of Lucene and the Opera Epiquess. If you look to the left in the direction we are currently traveling, you will see the famous Fontaine Research Institute up in the sky. Oh. An experiment gone wrong turned new sightseeing opportunity. Human ingenuity truly is a wondrous thing. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is beautiful, guys. We chilling, we vibing. chest oh my god this place is so pretty the mountains here are really interesting we are now approaching our final destination please be sure to bring all your personal belongings with you as you disembark okay even though i will take any forgotten items to the lost and found the paperwork is rather annoying as melazine hands are not suitable for grasping pens uh. please be careful when disembarking it has been my honor to be your tour guide this trip. Thank you. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait. I want the wheat. Alright. There we go. Alrighty. Interesting. Pretty. <laughs> I love <gasps> flowers. What's this? Whoa! Oh, this is so cool. Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh my god, it puts me at the very top of the hill. That's so cool. That was so cool. I love that. <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel like a child again. I don't know. Fontaine just seems very wondrous. I love it. Give me flower. Rainbow Rose. Oh, that's pretty. Oh. Huh? I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I needed to do it. It had to be done. I'm so, so sorry. What's this? Okay, just random things. Oh wow, that's like at the very edge of the- oop, my bad. Let me up. <gasps> Hydrooculi in the fountain! The Hydrooculi look really pretty. Design really pretty. Oh, more ducks? More interesting birds? Pretty. Ooh, these are pretty too. A pluie lotus, another lotus. I love that. Huh? Oh, I'm so sorry. I think I just stole that bird's eggs. I feel kind of bad now. What's this? Okay. Oh. Uh, these mystical constructs seem to have originally been designed to damage the surroundings, but it seems the damage react accordingly. The situation can affect by hydro. Okay. Huh. Use how this works. Hey, I'm so confused. 
these. How does this work? Do I need the traveler or something? Hold on. I want to know, understand how this mechanism works. Okay. Oh, oh. What else? Oh. Let's go. So many things. Okay, uh, ba 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 ba. There's still a long road. Okay. I'm so confused. Supposed to be lit up or something? Okay, they're all lit up. Now what? Eh? Me confused. I'm so confused. Oh, continuously affected by, um... Okay, hold on. I'm so confused. I don't wanna get it, what? Move. Do I have to wait for it to come back or something? I'm so confused on how this works. by water. I don't get it. I am so deeply confused by this. Is it like a puzzle thing? Guys, I'm confused. How do I solve this? Hello, Jeanette Kwan. Welcome. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Hello, welcome. Welcome to the stream. I'm trying to figure out how this works. Me no understand. Me no understand. Understand. Okay. What do these things do? I'm so confused. what it means by continuously wet or something. Ah, uh, my ear.
Anyways, this is confusing. I don't understand this, guys. Does anyone understand how to do this? I am confused. Oh, whatever. I suppose I'll figure it out on a day, huh? Oh, there's another, um, another waypoint down here. I really don't get how those puzzles work, but anyways. Alright. Man, it was a long time to get here. Alright. Oh, doggies! Oh, and flowers. Get some of these. Get some of those. Okay. Give me. Boop. Alright, you completed that. And a little bit of this. And then I just need to gather this stuff. Nice. Alright. Oh, look at that doggy. It's so cute. Hi, buddy. Oh, I love the doggy. Alright. Whoa. Now this is fancy. The opera at the Quest. What a place to hold a performance. No wonder Linny and Lynette were looking forward to it. Looks like there's a lot of people standing around the fountain up ahead. Oh, Archon. Please bless us with a bright and healthy child. We pray. I don't know why you always feel the need to ask so much. I'll be happy as long as our child is healthy and lives a peaceful life. <laughs> I guess if there are, kid, then there's no doubt they'll turn out smart. Maybe this is one of the customs in Fontaine. There sure are a lot of couples here. Vache. What? Oh god, not these things again. Huh? What's wrong? Vache. Vache. Did you just say something, Paimon? No, Paimon didn't say anything. Are you hearing things? Again? Yes. Welcome to the Fountain of Lucine. All the water flowing through Fontaine converges here. It's customary for newlyweds to come here and wish for children. Ah! Oh, Lynette! You scared Paimon! When did you get here? Hmm. Lenny asked me to wait here for you, remember? Ah, right. What do you mean? There are a lot of people here right now. Hey, Come on, how many times have we been through this? Every nation I go to, this happens. I hear a voice and you think I'm hearing things. Hmm, I see. I might be able to tell you something that could help explain the voice you heard. Please, I'm gonna come In back. Fact, you might not be imagining things at all. I suspect that what you've heard is a result of your hypersensitivity to the hydro element. Others in my family have had similar experiences. 
It's because of her sensitivity to the hydro element? But what would hearing a voice have to do with elemental power? When do you cry, Paimon? Wait, what? What does that have to do with anything? Answer her question. Just answer me. When do you cry? Uh, when Paimon's really sad? Oh, and when Paimon's super happy. Oh, and also when Paimon's really, really scared. Then you should understand that tears contain your most intense emotions. Like I just mentioned, the Fountain of Lucene is where all the flowing water in Fontaine converges. Even the tears that fall to the ground will eventually gather here. So maybe what you heard was the intense emotion coming from someone's tears. Huh. That's an interesting explanation. So, what did the voice say? It seemed to be calling out someone's huh. name. If you were hearing their emotions, then Paimon wonders what happened to them. Rather than worrying about them, we should worry about my brother first. What's wrong? Don't let that calm look of his fool you. He tends to get pretty nervous just before a performance. So chatting with Winnie might help him relax a little before he goes on stage. Any day. Oh, right. That makes sense. Let's go in and see Linny. Yep, yep, yep. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh. What the heck? Offerings of Fountain of St. Hydra sigils. Oh, you offer them here. Oh. Interesting. I see. Okay, this is a very dramatic, like, wave out. Oh, okay. I just need a couple more and then I can add my first rewards. Okay, got it. Alright, I have the fountain unlocked. Let's go inside. Hello, little guy. You're so cute. Enter the opera house. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Seems ah, eerie. Traveler in Paimon, good to see you. I knew you two would come. Are you kidding? We want to miss it for the world! We've been looking forward to it! <laughs> I can tell, judging by how early you've arrived. But you're actually right on time. The audience still hasn't started entering the venue yet, which means now is the perfect chance for us to take you to the best seats in the house. Wait just a moment. I'll fetch the tickets. All right, we're just chatting. The Opera House has assigned seating, so you always have to make reservations. I've already reserved your seats, and After here meeting are us? your tickets. That, that was fast. Thanks, bud. Ooh, front row seats. Thanks, Linny. Don't mention it. There's no need to keep thanking me. Hey, Linny. Could you come over here and take a look at this? Oh, I'll be right there. Seems there's an issue with the stage props over there. That's Cal, my assistant, calling me. I'll go lend him a hand. Sure. Yeah, we'll just go to our seats. You go ahead, Linny. Okay, can I like- okay, thank goodness. I wanted to like stick here for a minute. Um, also, again, Traveler, why would you do this to me? Okay, hold on. Let me look at the Traveler's stats real quick. Oh, she has a new voiceover. Oh, goodness. Oh, dear. Okay. Ha! Go! Water jet! Nah! Wipe out! Bombs away! <laughs> Sorry. I have to laugh at that. Um. I need to go to talents. What does she need for level up talents? Oh. So those are new. Got it. Alright. Oh, this heals? Ooh, I like that. Uh, I'm gonna need more artifacts. Uh, great. Well, while we're here, before we start 
Uh, we're gonna wish for Linny, actually. Because I have a lot saved up. I really want to try go wishing for him in his opera house. And I'm also gonna try to go for his weapon if I have enough. So, uh, yeah, let's just get to wishing. Yep. Alrighty. And if I don't end up getting him, oh well. It's okay. I'm gonna wish for him more on other days. Okay. Alright. Next. Bang. Bennett, my boy, welcome. Got a Bennett. Let's go again. Yes! 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 Please. Hi, Barbara. Yay! We got him, guys! We did it! We didn't lose the 50-50. Oh, thank God. I was really scared we were going to lose the 50-50. Liddy, I actually really wanted him. Man, look at this guy's outfit. I, I, my goodness, Linny. All right, <laughs> I love how he has little tongue sticking out. I, can't, I actually really want to use him, so I'm really excited. Oh, we got another Barbara. All righty, we got Linny. Look at him. We got him, guys. Ooh. Fan Fontaine, Fontanian magician who possesses great stage presence as well as the gift of the gab. Audiences are enthralled by his exquisite skills and they hang on his every clever word. That's really cool. All right, let's go for his uh, weapon now. Let's see how lucky I am on the weapon banner. I got a Yunjin out of nowhere, which is odd. Alrighty. Again. Okay. Just gonna skip through this. Alright, we got a better sword. Okay. Another Yunjin! Why do I keep getting Yunjins? Is she just like a part of the weapon banner or something? Okay. Ooh, finally. I needed more books, actually, so that's good. Okay. Do I not have enough? I don't have enough. Dang it. Man. Sad. I really want to try, man. How many do I have here? I have seven. Okay. Let me look at the Paimon's Bargains. Alright, let's go. Let's get seven. There we go. Five. Okay, we can wish again. Alright, and then Primo Eyes. Let's purchase one of those. There we go. And we're Stardust. Okay, get some of those. Alright, cool. Alright. Let's go back to the Wish Banner. Okay, and actually, I wanna... Okay, actually, I'm gonna go here. Alright, let's go! Ah, oh, so close. I got another Dory, though. Hi, Dory. Alright, well, I tried. I can wish on this one, though. Okay. What'd I get? <gasps> yes! Finally! I've been wanting another Rosaria. I need to complete her constellations at some point. Thank you. It's about flipping time. For me. Alright. Um, I'm gonna buy a bunch of these. And then... Alright, I guess we'll just have to keep continuing to save up from now on. But while we're here... Okay, thankfully I only got one minute. Alright, there we go. Rosaria, come here. Yay! Alright, that makes me very happy indeed. Now, where is he? Oh, here's the story. There we go. And then we need to go to... There he 
Lenny's. All right, Lenny. Actually, I I don't have Lenny's artifacts yet, so yeah. But uh, I'll level that up. There we go. Awesome. And now we can actually ascend him. <laughs> nice. Get this. Okay. Level up again. Whoop, 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 whoop. All the way to the max. There we go. There we go. Nice. Okay, and then what I need to ascend him, more of these flowers and this thing from the crab. Okay, got it. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna have to read his story at some other point and go through his lines later. But, let me look at his constellation. Or not his constellation. His talents, I think. <clears throat> Ooh. Alright, I'm gonna have to work on these talents. So, yeah, I'm gonna definitely have to start farming for Lenny. But for now, I'll give him... I'll just give him... I know this is a healing set, but I'm just gonna stick this on him for no rhyme or reason. So, forgive me. It's not gonna remain on him. This is just so it doesn't have the exclamation points, because those hurt me inside. Stick these on him real quick. There you go, bud. Just take take those. There you go. I feel like this artifact set is somehow fitting for some reason. Oh boy. So many. So many. Well, there we go, guys. We have. Oh, right. <laughs> I might not have a good bow for you, but at least I have this one. So you can take that one for now. So, uh, sorry buddy, I don't really have much of a bow. I want to get your bow though, I'll work on it. So guys, we'll work on getting Lenny's bow. Uh, and then I'll save up for future characters, we'll see. But yeah. Man, this game is going to take my fundings. Uh, but uh, the good news is I didn't spend m money on to get him, so that's good. And I also have his sister, uh, Lynette, actually, funnily enough. Who, I worked on her artifact set a bit, so she's a she actually should be decent. I just need to be able to up level her up so I can do her talents finally. I gave her this sword. So hopefully... Do I have any better swords, actually? I have this one, but I think this one's better for her. Yeah, that one enhances elemental skill, and this one does it by 50%. So it's a similar sword, but different at the same time. So yeah. We'll work on her in the future. I really want to use her and her brother. But yay! Actually, I kind of want to put them in my party real fast. I just want to walk around with them. Um, I'll, I'll switch them out later, but... Where, actually, maybe I shouldn't do that. What if I have to get into a fight, actually? Yeah. I'll wait. I'll hold off on that. Okay. So, guys, real quick, I'm gonna... Oh, what the heck? Oh. There he is. There's the boy. Got him. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I clicked on him. Alright. Man, I have a lot of characters now. The game is just filled with characters now. There we go. Give me some of this. There we go. Okay, anyways, like I said, I'll be right back. I'm gonna make some tea real quick. And then I'm going to come back and we'll continue the story. So there's gonna be a small intermission. Um. Yeah. Let me... Hold on. Uh, let's see. Sorry guys, I'm like all over the place. Give me a second. Let me actually do this. Uh, hold on. I don't know, Henry, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me, give me a hot minute. Give me a hot minute. Don't worry. Don't worry. I got you guys, okay? 
I'm gonna play some music, okay? And then I'll be back, alright? Alright, see you guys in a second. I'll just... Without any warning, we're sucking up the oxygen. The room is getting smaller. We'll always have it coming, like animals who like to bite. Tasting our disaster. Twenty something seconds go. On and on. Twenty something seconds go. go.
the roof is gonna cave in Roaring with some dinosaurs So caught up in the moment Twenty something seconds go On and on Twenty something seconds go Go, go I'm not ready for darkness I'm not ready for darkness I know we can do better So I really
Okay, I'm back. Hello, welcome. Hi, hello. I'm back. Let's get back into Genshin, shall we? Hello, chat. Sorry that took me a minute. I went to go grab some tea, and I also have some macaroons with me. Uh, I posted on my Twitter what I have because I was like, I feel like if I don't drink tea and eat macaroons while I'm playing through Fontaine, I'm not truly doing it right. So anyways, yep, there we go. I'm gonna take a bite of this macaroon. Hmm. Hmm. It's good. Man, macarons are so sweet, guys. They're so good, too. Where am I going? I'm going through here. Mm. Oh, jeez. Hello. Let's head to my seat. Novelet? Uh, uh, <laughs> What's with the awkward en energy? Hey, traveler. Maybe we should strike up a conversation with the person next to us. Since we're sitting together and the rest of the place is practically empty still. It's kind of awkward if we don't say anything. It's not usually your job. Uh, you little... <laughs> of course you put this on Paimon. Excuse me. I did not realize you felt awkward. I am terribly sorry. Oh I would God, be perfectly so happy to chat with you if that is what you would like. Oh. Uh, so you heard all of that, did ya? <laughs> Boy, you sure have good ears. Paimon thought she was keeping her voice down. Uh, wait, that's not it. Paimon's... sorry. Um, Paimon's the one who was being rude, talking under her breath like that. Uh, so, uh, let's talk, but, uh, what should we talk about? Oh my goodness, Paimon, you are not... This is getting even more awkward. Look at the way this man sits. <laughs> sorry. Just like... Uh, oh, Paimon's got it. You're also here early and sitting in the front. Are you a friend of Linny's too? A friend, you say? Well, if Mr. Linny would like to be my friend, I would be more than happy to reciprocate. Hmm. Oh, so you're not friends with Linny then? Ooh, this is getting more awkward by the second. <laughs> ah, uh, Paimon nearly forgot to make her introduction. Nice to meet you. Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler. We just arrived in Vaudaine. Mm -hmm. It is an honor to meet you two. I have heard of your deeds across Tavat. And as required by proper etiquette, I will also introduce myself. I am... Oh, Monsieur Nervillet. What an honor it is to have you here to see my show. Nervillet. Ah, Mr. Linney. I should say it is in fact an honor for me to see your performance in person. He's a lot more polite than he got Nervy in the left. Good evening. Hmm? I saw you all chatting just now, but it seems you still don't know who Monsieur Nervilet is. Allow me to introduce you to Fontaine's Chief Justice. That seat is always reserved for him. It wouldn't be too much to say that he's the symbol of justice and honesty here in Fontaine. For being so rude just now. Paimon had no idea you were such an important person. No offense taken. Being Chief Justice is merely what I do for work. <sighs> Nearly every person has their usual reserved seat, so I'm not so special, really. And by the way, I should probably let you know, 
even though I would prefer not to. There's someone sitting up there in the VIP seats that has been striking a pose for quite a while now. Oh. I believe she is trying to give you a most elegant and impressive first impression. Does he not like Bolsonaro? So I think you should take notice of her sooner rather than later. Otherwise, she may become flustered. <laughs> huh? Oh, it's Farina, the Hydro Archon. <laughs> she sure has a smug and satisfied look on her face. It's because she has no idea that you saw right through her act. Very good. That is for the best. No need to pay her any more attention. We may now enjoy the show. Mm -hmm. Huh? So is this what things are like between the Chief Justice and the Hydro Archon? Hmm. All right, please wait just a moment longer. I've pretty much finished my preparations, and the performance will start as soon as the audience has made their way to their seats. Yay! The show's finally about to start! <laughs> Boy, I can hardly wait! Paimon's never seen a real live magic show before! <laughs> oh, they're dimming the lights! The show must be starting! Hi, Mom, calm down. Uh, sorry. Hi, Mom, will try to stay quiet. <laughs> Welcome, one and all, to the Opera Epicles. I am the star of today's show, Linny. And over here is my sister, Lynette. Who will be working as my wonderful assistant? Please, let's give her a warm welcome. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I know she may seem to be a little sleepy right now, but that's just a sign that she's nervous. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Now, some of you may be thinking. Two vision holders who can freely manipulate elemental powers performing magic is not true magic at all. So, I would like to take a moment to assure you that elemental powers will have nothing to do with what you will witness on the stage today. Both Lynette and myself have removed our visions for the show. That way, even the gods won't be able to help us. Oh, good point. That's what makes the show real magic. Now, without further ado, let the show begin. Lynette will now exit the stage to make some preparations. I know you might miss her, but don't worry. She'll be coming right back on stage momentarily. Perhaps in an unexpected way. I'm sure she'll be stealing the spotlight soon enough. Oh, and before I forget, there's one more thing I should say. You never know what can happen in the blink of an eye. A magician's greatest skill is making things disappear or appear. The possibilities are endless. what you came for. These little tricks, you've seen them all before. So it's time for something truly extraordinary, don't you think? This one's a little tricky. Using this water tank, I shall make my sister vanish completely. Right before your very eyes. <sighs> it's actually quite simple. She'll just turn into air bubbles and float right out of the top. I told them to check all the props carefully. 
With the lid on, even air can't escape. An amateur magician would be getting very nervous right around now. <laughs> Luckily, it's me on stage, so let me show you what a true virtuoso can do. Are you still there? Don't go too far. We don't want to use up all our magic. Hi. I'm back. Uh-huh. Sorry, I didn't want to talk to interrupt the show. Whoa! What in the world just happened? How did he do that? Kyler didn't seem to do anything! Wasn't Lynette inside the water tank? How did she disappear and then reappear out of nowhere? What a show! If we could see easily through his tricks, then that would mean that his skills are still lacking. To appreciate magic, you should focus on the show happening on stage rather than getting caught up in trying to see that which has been intentionally hidden. Thank you. I agree, That's sir. Right. Kynon couldn't believe her eyes when Lynette reappeared. Amazing! Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm glad you enjoyed that performance. But our magical journey has only just begun. I've prepared even more astonishing surprises for everyone here. The magic of transformation and disappearance can go far beyond what you've just seen. I'm sure many of you are thinking that escaping the water tank was impressive enough. But Lynette is still my assistant after all. In which case, I have ample time to make all necessary preparations. So, for my next trick, I will require the participation of one lucky audience member. Please, if my assistants could bring out the magical boxes now. There are two boxes, and only two boxes. One is here, and one is there in the aisle among the audience. I'm sure many of our clever audience members have already guessed our next magic trick. <laughs> a swap! Our lucky audience member and I will each enter a magic box. After one minute, we will each emerge from the opposite box. Now please, everyone pay very close attention to the box you see here. Don't give me any chance to make a move. Wow, how's he gonna do this? Hey, do you think this is all magic tricks, or does Lenny have actual superpowers? The lucky audience member will be generated by this random number selector. It selects numbers entirely at random. Even I don't know who will be chosen to participate. Now then, let's begin. Um, let me see. Oh, row seven, seat three. Congratulations! You now have the chance to experience magic firsthand for an entire minute. Please, come forward. My assistant will take you beside the magic box. I'm sorry, it might be a little cramped inside, but no need to feel nervous. We've carefully arranged everything for you to be as comfortable as possible. You don't need to do anything, but no matter what strange things may happen, don't come out of the box. If the magic is interrupted, who knows where you might end up. You might even find yourself in the Fortress of Meripede. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Before I enter the magic box, there is one more thing I need to ask the audience to do. Could you all give me a countdown? Like this. 60, 59, 58. Just keep counting down. You can go a little faster or slower if you like. I won't be able to see anything in the pitch black box, so I'll be relying on your voices to know when time is up. Oh, and no tricks now. If you quickly count from 60 in just 30 seconds, then I'll be in a tough spot. Ooh! Paimon kinda wants to count faster after hearing him say that! <laughs> no, 
no, that won't do. I can see it in your eyes. You still can't be trusted. Let's practice together. <laughs> this feels Come like on. an actual Repeat magic after show. Me. That's so nice. 60, 59, 58. 60, 59, 58! That's right, perfect. Keep it going. All right, I'll see you all on the other side once you've finished counting. I am counting in my head. I think things are exciting enough in here as it is. Merely a consequence of my identity and personality. Do not worry about me. Just enjoy the show. Oh, all right. You looked so serious that Paimon thought you might be feeling uncomfortable or something. 40, 39, 38! Hmm. Mr. Linny, are you all right in there? Is everything ready? Yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just double-checking the direction of the magic. It would be a disaster if we get sent to the wrong places. For example, mid-air right above the audience. Even though he's saying that, Lenny doesn't seem nervous at all. <laughs> what was that noise? Did you hear it too? Not sure. Anyway, it doesn't seem like anyone's worried about it. 25! 24! 23! Okay. What's wrong, Mr. Linny? I can still hear you moving in there. I seem to have accidentally knocked over a decoration. I'm trying to fix it, but it's pitch black in here. I can't tell left from right. Never mind the decorations. There's no time for that. The show is what's important. No, that's unacceptable. I want my show to be perfect. Don't worry, we still have 20 seconds. Hear them counting? 19, 18, 17! Uh, it seems things aren't quite going as planned. I apologize, everyone. It feels like you're all starting to count faster, but that's all right. I know it can be tiring to do such a long countdown. Ten seconds and change is still plenty of time. Ten! Almost there now. Eight. Whew, swapping two people is harder work than you might think. Even a master magician like me can't guarantee I'll get it right the first time. <laughs> hey, wait. Is this the back one? I can't tell. They both look the same inside. Huh? Nope, that's not it. I'll try again. Seven. Hey, slow down! Six. Honestly! Five! Four! Three! Uh, whoops! Two. That doesn't count! Zero! Avatar? Huh? Is this part of the show? Mr. Linny, you're going to use magic to fix the stage now, right? What happened? Oh no. Maybe this isn't part of the show. The girl was still in that box, right? This performance is over. Medical staff with me. Guards, secure the scene and detain all the performers. Seal the exits. No one is allowed in or out at this time. <laughs> yes, that's right. If this was just an accident, then we must investigate the cause. But if this was all part of some scheme, then 
Then those accountable will not escape the judgment of the God of Justice! No need to be alarmed, you two. We'll get to the bottom of this soon enough. Oh no. I feel like Linny's about to be framed. Unfortunately, the person who is in the magic box has been pronounced dead. His name was Cowell, one of the assistants in Linny's magic troop. It was not even the girl? Apparently, the fireworks on stage ignited the ropes that were suspending the water tank, which then caused the tank to fall onto the stage. As of now, we are still not sure why we found Cowell in the box, rather than the guest from the audience. And after an initial search of the area, the guards have confirmed that the girl is nowhere to be found. It appears that this incident was not merely some mishap with the performance. And there are many indications that it is connected with the case of the serial disappearances. No! I knew this was going to link back. The, the serial disappearances case? Huh? That's the case that Charlotte mentioned before. <laughs> I know. I know the truth. I can see through the whole thing. Really. Using such a shallow and obvious mystery as his finale. Did he really underestimate us that badly? I say that our powerful magician, Mr. Linny, is now the prime suspect for the serial disappearances case. Huh? Why me? This whole thing was an accident. No. Oh, this all occurred during your magic show, did it not? The missing girl disappeared after being chosen, did she not? The deceased is one of your assistants, is he not? Damn, the fact that they actually that killed I someone in front of us. It, that whole speech about magicians making things disappear was nothing more than a provocation, a bald-faced challenge. That can't be right. How can Linny do this? He was in the box on the stage the entire time. We could even hear his voice. Besides, before the show, he told us they would like to catch the criminal behind the disappearances. He couldn't possibly mean catching himself. Save discussion for a later time, please. Lady Farina, may I assume that your comments just now constitute an accusation against Mr. Linney and his associates, and that you are pressing charges? Huh? I just think that he... Well, I... Uh... I think it might be a little early to talk about formally pressing charges. But what Lady Farina said just now makes perfect sense. Looks like she's gonna personally deliver justice. A kidnapping and murder carried out under the cover of a magic show. Lady no. Farina said it all. <laughs> uh, I mean, of course, my dear people. But what excites me even more than the obvious truth before our eyes is the opponent I'll be facing. That's right. I mean you, Traveler. You'll support Linny, won't you? Well, After yeah, all, duh. He was the one who helped you the first time we met. <laughs> then there's no problem at all. You know, the Traveler and I already had a duel the first time we met. Okay, I'm just double checking Not my audio. with Linny's help, our little duel ended in a draw. <laughs> but draws really are the most boring possible outcome. So, no more draws. Between the two of us, there must be a clear winner and loser. And what better place to hold such a riveting showdown and decide the true victor than here, on the grandest of stages, the Opera Epicles! Huh. It wasn't a draw. She obviously lost last time. I understand. Charges have now been pressed, and as such, a trial is in order. Well, Traveler, seems Lady Farina has set you in her sights. But putting her dramatic rhetoric aside for a moment, I would like to ask you, are you willing to act as Mr. Linney's attorney and defend- Wait, I'm not a licensed case? lawyer. Hold up. I didn't go to- I didn't go to law school. I have to study for years if I'm ready for this. Bro, what the- you expect too much of me. Ugh. I'll do it for you, though. Yes. Very well. The trial will be held a day from now in the Opera House. Both sides may investigate the scene to build their cases and search for the truth.
Linny and his troop are all potential suspects and shall remain within the Opera House. The audience may begin to leave in an orderly fashion once they have been cleared by the guards. A day isn't that long. Let's see what kind of case this big shot outlander can build in such a short amount of time. <laughs> I'm really quite looking forward to hearing it. Buddy, what happened? Sorry about everything that happened just now. Were you frightened? Of course! Who wouldn't be scared after witnessing an accident like that? Yeah, I'm a little shaken up myself. How could this happen? And poor Cal. I know you already claimed that you would defend me, but now it's just us talking. Tell me, do you think I could possibly be the murderer? No way. Good to hear. Thank you so much for trusting me. I'm sure everyone sees me as the biggest suspect at this point. But if you ask me, the whole thing is mysteries layered upon mysteries, such that all that's left is confusion. I don't know whether what happened there on the stage was purely an accident or not. And I don't know why poor Cal was in the box. As for how that girl chosen from the audience could suddenly disappear, I'm afraid I don't have any answers either. If someone tampered with my performance, then we need to figure out what they did. Even a skilled and knowledgeable magician like myself couldn't pull all that off in just one minute. Which is precisely why we need to investigate! As this book says, <clears throat> the impossible could not have happened. Whatever happened must have been that which is possible. Where did you get those glasses? Haima bought them when we were reading at the bookshop in the city earlier. Pretty cool, huh? No worry. Paimon used her own savings to buy them. It wasn't from our travel funds. Good. I think they look cute on you, Paimon. Aw. You have good taste, Lynette. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right attitude. Feeling depressed isn't going to help me now. I need to get back to my normal self. But with the guards watching our every move, it's going to be especially difficult for Lynette and I to prove our own innocence. Good thing you agreed to be our attorneys. <sighs> Thanks for that. We'll be counting on you. Yes, thank you so much. Well, I won't let you down. Yeah, just leave it to us. Oh, uh, since we're going to start investigating, Paimon has a question first. Where did Lynette go during the performance? Ah, oh, well... I'm afraid that would involve some of our essential traits. Bro, do you want to go magicians. to prison? The secrets behind our magic are past savings, Linny. I suppose you're right. The truth behind our tricks is going to be important evidence that will be weighted during the trial. <sighs> Tis truly a pity. As a magician, our magic show is a work of art. We've poured countless hours and spared no effort in perfecting it. But if revealing our secrets will help you uncover the truth behind what happened, then it will be well worth it. We should go somewhere else if we're going to discuss our magic tricks. We'll go speak with the guards, and in the meantime, you can go investigate the stage and the seating areas. Alright, let's go have a look while the investigation teams are still here. Detective Paimon is on the case! Mm-hmm. Alright, time to be Sherlock Holmes. Here we go, friends. Hello, officer. How's the investigation going? Over at Lenny and Lynette's look uh, I see. You must be the traveler that Lady Farina mentioned. Listen, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I'd avoid getting mixed up in this whirlpool of a mess if I were you. Huh? What do you mean? Come with me and you'll see. The deceased is one of Linny's assistants named Cal. Oh my god, they drew Even like he a joined the troop long, he was hard working and everyone generally liked him. The assistants are usually in charge of setting up and inspecting the props, as well as assisting with the show and keeping the crowd engaged. As you probably saw when you were in the audience, the water tank suddenly fell and smashed the box with Cowl inside it. This is the real mystery. 
We've already searched the scene and were unable to find any traces of the girl. However, if you look carefully, the box was positioned directly under the water tank. The ropes holding the tank were then burned by the pyrotechnics on stage, causing them to snap. All these factors lining up so perfectly makes it hard to see this as a mere accident. If anything, the more logical explanation is that the whole incident was intentionally planned, and Linny is the most likely person to have access to all these areas. But he doesn't have a motive! Are you both good friends of his? Uh, well, you can't say we're good friends, but we've known each, we've other, only known each other for like a day. A little while. So in just a short time, he was not only able to win your trust, but even convince you to act as his attorneys. I know there's no such thing as magic. The real trick of a magician is holding the audience in the palm of their hand. I've seen a lot of cases, and I can tell you that people are the least reliable kind of evidence. But they can also be the most reliable evidence. Sorry, I tend to be pretty straightforward. Just know that I'm warning you for your own good. Anyway, you may investigate the scene of the crime yourselves if you're curious. Who knows, maybe you'll be able to come up with some new evidence. Okay, you can use the case record to confirm your current evidence and clue collection situation. Oh my god, we actually can case collect? This is so cool. You can check as yet undiscovered evidence and clues in the case record, then investigate the corresponding area to locate them. Use the perception skill to find evidence and clues that can be investigated within a certain radius around yourself. This will advance your overall progress. Guards investigation report. The investigation from the guards indicates that the fireworks launched at the tail end of the magic performance set the rope dangling the water tank alight, causing the tank to fall and kill Caldwell, who was within it. It seems evident that Lenny is the likeliest user of the prop to commit a crime. However, the reason for the victim being Caldwell and the reason for the chosen Lenny's disappearance remains a mystery. Deceased Identity. The deceased is one of Lenny's assistants named Caldwell. He was well trusted by his colleagues. His job was setting up and inspecting the props, as well as assisting the, with the show and keeping the crowd engaged. Okay. Salmon White Line. There, this is where the magic box was struck. If Caldwell wasn't, weren't inside the box at the... <sighs> if Caldwell weren't inside the box at that moment, he might have dodged the falling water tank. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. So this is the rope that broke and caused the water tank to fall. Ah! Sorry, I almost dropped my phone. <laughs> hmm. The rope looks pretty durable. How can it be burned through so quickly by fireworks? So either Lenny didn't realize this was a safety concern, hmm? or why are you suddenly so serious, traveler? I'm just looking at where the rope snapped. Whoa. Look! This bit is made from different material! Huh. Most of it was burned away, but there's still a little bit of it left. Seems to be flammable. Huh. So if a rope meant to hold something was made with that kind of material in it, then that means... Wait, why don't you write all this down? Let's take notes. Special rope. This rope was used to suspend the water tank. It suddenly broke when the fireworks were being launched on stage. The investigation has shown that the location where the rope snapped was made of flammable material. Okay, so the rope was purposely made this way. But why would... Hmm. Strange. The broken magic box was left on the scene after the guards completed their investigation. Looking at it now, the water tank must have struck it really hard. Okay. Maurice. Hello there. What are you investigating? Hmm? Oh, this location has also been cordoned off because the Magic Troop members are currently considered prime suspects. The investigation team is still collecting evidence. The seats were all booked in advance, so we were able to deduce the missing woman's identity by checking the guest list. Can you tell us who she is? Sure. It's not like this is confidential information. We will publish it later anyway, when we petition the public to help us find the missing person. Her name is Halsey. She's a painter from Fontaine who's made a bit of a name for herself. Apparently, she wasn't a regular at the Opera House, but she'd been feeling some pressure with her work lately, which made her decide to come see the Magic Show. The Magic Troop members all claim not to know her. We have looked into her social connections. 
It seems that she has no personal grievances or conflicts of interest with the suspects. Simply put, she wasn't related to the magic troop at all, which matches the features of the previous serial disappearances. Hmm. Were the victims of previous cases also chosen at random? That's how it seems to us, in any case. Apart from the fact that they were all young women of around the same age range, there really weren't any other connections between hmm. them. <sighs> okay then. Thanks for letting us know all this. I don't need to be so formal. If you do happen to see the missing girl, please be sure to contact us. It is of utmost importance that we get to the bottom of these disappearances. Okay. Information about the missing lady's identity. Halsey is the missing person. She's a famous painter and came to watch the magic show in order to take a break from her own creative work. She isn't known to have entangled quarrels with any of the members of Lenny's magic troupe. Okay. Thanks, Maurice. Can I talk to you yet? Go ahead, have a look around. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, thanks, Esmond. All right. Over here. Quinton. The investigation team has some new findings. Turns out there's an issue with the random number selector after all. See, I told you. What if the machine picked some big guy's seat? You think the murderer would have still made his move then? Sorry to interrupt, but we're helping Lenny and Lynette with their side of the investigation. What were you saying about the number selector? There's something wrong with it? You're trying to help them? <laughs> That'll be a tall order. Lenny used the machine to pick a random member of the audience during his performance, right? A lucky girl that later disappeared. Well, we thought there might be a serious problem with the machine, so we had it taken away for further inspection. It turns out that the seat number it picked wasn't random at all. The machine picks that same number every time. Really? I'm sure you already know that you have to make a reservation in advance to get a seat, regardless of whether it's a trial or some performance. In other words, Linny knew who would be sitting where from the very beginning. Hmm. That much checks out. Linny reserved our seats for us, too. Let you see why I was saying it'd be tough to make a case for Linny. Thanks, sorry to bother you. Even though it's bad for Lenny's case, Paimon had better write it down. This device was used during Lenny's magic performance to choose a lucky number of the audience. However, the guards were, have found that it will generate the exact same number no matter what. Clearly, someone has tampered with it. Is guards spelt wrong? I just realized that. Shouldn't there be a U? I'm confused. Okay. Alright, so either it was tampered with something else. Okay. Yeah, this is a big place. Oh. It looks like an ordinary box, but Lenny somehow moved instantly from the stage to being inside of it. How did he do it? Okay. Lenny's still talking to the guards. I think someone will be assigned to monitor us later, but... Alright. Lenny's still talking to the... Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Alright, I'm moving on. Excuse me? Hey, you! Yes, both of you! Over here! Oh! I've been keeping an eye on you for a while now. Huh? You mean us? That's right. If I'm not mistaken, you're also among those who wish to cut down the thorns and pursue the truth. No? And by the looks of it, you're not from Fontaine. Well, you're right on the mark about that one, but who are you? How do you say your name, please? Enlighten me. <laughs> Have you never heard of the Spina di Rosula? From mediating disputes and providing protection to solving <laughs> conundrums. <laughs> You name it. Spina di Rosula does it. And I, Navia, Navia, have the honor of being its renowned president. Though those who play by our rules call me boss. I'm Silver, her attendant. Pleased to meet you. Silver. And I'm Melus. Demoiselle's various daily needs and affairs are under my purview. Hello, madame. <laughs> huh? Boss? Demoiselle? With the names. <clears throat> well, I am the second. 
second generation president. Malus and the others are still used to my previous. My apologies, demoiselle. Should you prefer, boss, I will endeavor to use that instead. No, no need. You don't have to call me boss. Just Navia is fine. Okay, if you say so. Not the remembrance of Spina di Rasula anyway. <laughs> All merely trifling details. Never mind. Now, back to the situation at hand. So you want to investigate as well? That's right. I've always kept an eye on the serial disappearance cases. My interest stems from a matter back from my father's time. Judging from the look of things, I find Linny an unlikely mastermind. Really? We think so too! That's why we're looking for clues now! But how did you come to that conclusion? Intuition, naturally. My unparalleled intuition. Okay. Marina sure was quick to point the finger at Linny without any decisive evidence whatsoever, wasn't she? But that's not uncommon for her. If you remember, the Justice had to interrupt her and ask if she was pressing charges just to keep her from getting carried away. Anyway, a trial begins the moment someone levels charges. And, of course, there was no way Verena was going to back down in that situation. Sounds more like you just don't trust the high I mean, I don't blame you. I don't trust her either. Well, what's your opinion? I must admit that she can be interesting at times. But liking her doesn't mean that I'll blindly agree with her. Well, when you put it like All that. Right. I've answered your question. Now, it's time you answer mine. Wait a minute. Did that answer count? Well... I say it does, but don't worry. You won't hear any pointless questions from me. In your opinion, do you think it's right to treat a trial like it's an opera? Um, well? Not always. And why would that be? Doing so makes it easy for the truth to fall by the wayside. <laughs> See, Silver and the Loose? I told you they'd be different. Most astute of you, demoiselle. I too think that the traveler's response was most excellent. No matter how wonderful the script or how fervent the audience's expectations may be, the trials that go on stage here must be based in fact. And if that can be done, boss, then... All right, that's quite enough, Malouse. Anyway, I like your answer. You pass with She's so colors. pretty, guys. I can't help but stare at her. Now, I need to make some preparations, following which our joint investigation shall commence. You two? Shall be my assistants. Wait! Since when did we become assistants? Mm hmm? Oh, uh, well, uh, I can be the assistant. Sure. But or your companion, if you like. I'm really not that fussy. Hmm. That's more like it. I think we're missing the point, Paimon. Far be it from me to brag, but I believe that Demoiselle's intuition will be instrumental in uncovering the truth. You wish to save a friend from false accusations, and we wish to unravel the disappearances. In this sense, our goals are aligned. Hmm, you have a point. Huh. You're quite the talker, aren't you, mister? And what about you over there? What do you think? You seem like you've got something on your mind. I have nothing to add. Oh, alrighty <laughs> then. He's one of the quiet types. We'll be making some preparations first. Just be sure to let us know if they start revealing Linny's tricks. <laughs> Thanks! Huh. Oh my lord. Speaking of that, I think magic shows would be very popular in Poisson. I can Poisson? See that. Poisson! Hmm. Maybe I should try Poisson. to learn some magic. Poisson. If I can make things disappear, cleaning my room would be a cinch. <laughs> you need not worry about such things, demoiselle. That falls under my duties. Oh, <laughs> right. What an interesting little gang here. Okay. Justine, member of the guards. Sorry, but no one can freely enter or exit the Opera House at the moment. If you wish to leave, you must register your identity with us first. Uh, no, we're not leaving. We're representing Linny and Lynette as attorneys, so we're investigating the case. Were you always guarding this entrance? Yes. After the Chief Justice gave the order, everyone coming in or out must undergo a strict inspection. So, the missing girl couldn't have left from here. At least, not from that point on. What about during the show? I doubt there was much opportunity then, either. How can you be so sure, hmm? Well, 
Because I was in charge of security near the entrance at that time. I couldn't see Linny's performance from here, which was quite a shame. Just my luck. But still, I could not abandon my post. And I stayed put no matter how loud the applause was. If someone had so much as even approached the door, I would have noticed it, let alone if they had tried to leave. Okay. We Melazines are good at that sort of thing, you know. So, it's safe to say the girl couldn't have left through here. All right, thank you for your help. This will be useful info. All right, no one left the opera house during the magic show, and after the incident happened, only those who had their identities cleared by the guards could leave. Okay, no one left during the show. Did anyone enter during the show, though? That's a question I want to know. Okay, I'll go up here. Wait, was there anything down there? Hold on. Sorry, I know it already has, like, two out of three, but I just want to double check. Okay, no, I'm just double checking. Alright. Let's continue. Alright, up here. Mm -hmm. No? Where am I going? Ah, oh, wait, down there. He's still there. I see that you're investigating the area. Well, it just so happens that I'm interested too. If you find any new and interesting leads, be sure to share them with me, all right? We don't have too many thoughts yet. <laughs> then why don't I tell you my hypothesis first? The way I see it, it all started with that loud thud. The thud? Oh, you mean the sound that happened during the countdown? Yes, exactly. It wasn't terribly loud, and I suspect that most people heard it. It's just that everyone was awaiting the results of Linny's trick with bated breath. So no one paid it much mind. Now that the incident has happened, the thud has become an important clue. Hmm, that makes sense. So, what do you make of it? I'm of the opinion that it may have been the sound of Linny's accomplice. Lynette, perhaps. Jumping atop the water tank, or something huh. like that. And when the pyrotechnics went off, she cut the rope, sending the water tank crashing down. Like, wasn't the noise we heard too loud for that? Perhaps the... Balance Plus, the ropes right, weren't cut, they were burnt. To a particularly rough landing. That wouldn't. Then the, wouldn't the water tank have started to swing a bit in that case? Well, that's true. Hmm. I suppose I must reconsider. Yeah, you do. That does remind Paimon, though. What was with that sound? During the switching performance, there was an audible thump that many audience members heard. We That's checked everything up till here at the performance venue. Hmm. Paimon wonders how Linny's discussion with the guards is going. Understood. Then I will be going with you. Just so you're aware, I will be monitoring your actions and making notes as necessary. Very good. Thanks for being so agreeable. I'd pull a rose out of my hat as a gift. You may spare the pleasantries. I'm just doing my job. You've arrived. Uh... Who's this? Me? <laughs> I'm Spina de Rosula's guardian angel. If you've got a problem, I've got the firepower. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little carried away there. Call me Navia. I'm a partner of theirs and will be helping investigate this whole situation. And these are my companions. Would you mind if they join as well? Hmm? Fine by me. Oh, new helpers? I would be most grateful. Gotta figure out what's going on here. Well, let's just say we're tagging along. It's not every day you get to see the secrets behind magic performed on such a large scale. <laughs> I appreciate your kind interest. Come with me. We'll be heading below stage. Below stage? Yeah, I figured. Huh? Below stage? Yes, a world of secrets is hidden beneath this magic box, prepared specifically for this switcheroo trick. But before I reveal everything, you should have a look first. Notice anything strange here? Hmm? 
I'm not trying to be dramatic. Remembering the details of a trick will help you understand the methods used to perform it more easily. Huh. Were there balloons and other decorations here? Where did all that go? Yeah. Ah, good eye. That said, you're still far from discovering the answer. The back of the door isn't the uh, same. The back? You mean the inside of the door? What's different about it? Paimon didn't notice anything. <laughs> Very good indeed. I thought you might not be able to catch that, given that you were sitting in the first row. The back of this door was patterned. Those patterns are now gone, replaced by a smooth wooden board. So, if you put two and two together, what do you get? There's another box inside this one. <laughs> exactly. All right, let's go. I'll tell you how it works as we head down. It's like a little elevator. Oh, so there was a passageway under the magic box. And this passage linked the two boxes together. <laughs> I knew you'd figure out most of it as soon as you saw this place. The two magic boxes are positioned right above the two entrances of the tunnel. See this flatbed trolley? The box with the lucky audience member in it would be shuttled over to the other side using the trolley. This trolley can raise and lower and even rotate, ensuring that the box will face in the right direction. Mm. I see. So that's the purpose of the box inside another box. Precisely. The inner box would descend after the audience member was put inside and be moved along the trolley. All while the outer box would remain on stage as if nothing had ever changed. Clever. So that's how you did it! Once the box was lowered, the trolley would store some energy through this device here, with which it would complete the rest of the steps. The audience member would only be able to feel some slight movements in the dark, and by the time she walked out, she would already be back on stage. How about your side of the trick? Right! You were talking that whole time, and you even came out for a moment near the end! Ah, yes. A phonograph operated by Lynette was used to achieve that effect. My assistant and I had already scripted our conversation beforehand. When the countdown began, I had already gone to the opposite box via a tunnel using that ladder. And what about Lynette? Where was she? I was in the mezzanine space in the back of the box. Oh, interesting! That's how we were able to coordinate Lenny's lines with the assistant. And, by the way, I was the one who walked out of the box at the end. I mean, we are twins. All it takes is a change of clothes, and no one can tell oh who's who. Oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, they are, they are twins, so they are blood-related. And that's my favorite part of this trick. Only Lynette and I can perform it. So that's how it all worked! Wow! Every detail you revealed was more amazing than the last! Until a lot of thought was put into this. Lynette would briefly walk out of the box and then go back in, jumping into the tunnel and escaping before the box on the trolley could finish ascending. And then I walk out of the other box in the audience area, and the trick would be complete. The operative word here being would. But as you saw, Cal was in the box, not our audience member. She, on the other hand, mysteriously vanished. We really don't know how that happened. If not for that interlude, this would have been an astonishing trick. I probably never would have figured out how you pulled it off. And yet, to think that someone was able to use this magic trick to commit a crime. Could we have a look around? I think we can come up with some more leads. This is the scene of the crime, so Linny and Lynette are not permitted to stay here. I'll escort them back up. Yes, of course. No need to be so strict now. <laughs> I won't disappear into thin air, you know. Thanks, everyone. We're counting on you. Linny gave a detailed account of how the trick was supposed to work. By using a box inside a box, the idea was for the box containing the audience member to be transported across via a tunnel underneath, and Linny himself would u also use this tunnel to go to the other side. Meanwhile, having changed her outfit, Lynette and her assistant would take charge of on-stage interactions. The magic box on stage has an additional layer to its rear, in which Lynette, in Lenny's clothes, remained hidden. She would appear at the end of the magic trick and lead people to believe that Lenny had been able to instantly move to the box on the other side. The, the magic box at the center of the audience stands has two layers, and beneath it is an entrance to an underground tunnel. This was how lucky audience member was meant to have been transported without the audience noticing. Okay. Alright. This should be the control device of the trolley. It seems to be able to operate automatically. 
No! Bro, I didn't want to return to the surface! Take me back down. Okay. Examine the ladder. The ladder is required in order to return to the magic box above. What's this? Looks like a hook tied to the end of a rope. Huh? There's all kinds of odds and ends here. I need to mention this earlier. Perhaps it was a prop for a different trick. But why would it have been left here? Whatever it is, let's make a note of it first. A rope that was fallen to the ground. A metal hook has been tied to one end of the rope. Its use is unclear. Huh, strange. The space was shattered. Uh, the floor is wet. Please be careful not to slip. Speaking of which, why would there be water here? Maybe it was for a trick? Oh, Prima knows! It's one of those tricks where you pour water into a jug and then flip the jug over only for the water to disappear. And here's a broken vase. Did the trolley not get down while moving? Uh, that can't be. Trolley moves along tracks from start to finish. I love how those stars are nice. at this distance. Hmm. Let's note this down too and think about it later. There are many pieces of broken flower vase on one side of the tunnel. All the water within has been spilled. Judging from the distance, it seems unlikely that it was knocked over by the trolley meant to transport the magic box. Okay. Oh. Wait. Clothing. Oh. These are the clothes that the lady chosen from the audience was wearing, right? Her clothes are here, but she's nowhere to be found. Lenny didn't mention the guest having a wardrobe change. Right. And do you really need to do that if you're kidnapping them? Paimon, what happened to your glasses? Ugh. This is so confusing. Paimon doesn't want to be a detective anymore. The clothes belonging to Hailsey... The lady who went missing were found in the tunnel. The reason for this remains unknown. Huh. Why was search and different passage? Examine tracks. Okay. Thank you. High precision is required to complete this magic show. The tracks are perfect for making the trolley stay in its designated course. Okay. Examine boxes. All kinds of props and costumes are haphazardly stuffed inside. Trolley is crucial for transporting the magic box to the other side. The culprit must have used this to execute their plan. And finally, the vent. What is this place? Looks like a vent. It seems someone could fit through here. Huh. Could this have been the suspect's escape route? Hmm, alone, perhaps. But if they had to pull another person with them, this space would be too narrow. But there are no other ways in or out of here. I don't think that girl was kidnapped. Other than those that go that go through the magic boxes. Oh, you're right. Let Paima write that down. The tunnel vent looks like it could allow one person passage, barely, but leaving along with the missing lady seems an unrealistic prospect. Seems we're just about done investigating down here. Yes. Let's head back up. Can I can I can I leave? Thank you. Okay. I don't think she was kidnapped. I think she left on purpose and just changed to look well, like someone we've else. We've ascertained the state of the crime scene. Let's find a place to sort out our findings once Malus returns. Seems to me that there are several things that don't add up here. Apologies for the wait, demoiselle. So, what did the guards say? Did the criminal escape through the vent? They believe the odds of that are very low since the vent leads to the opera house's basement. The guards have checked the area carefully. No one left through the basement during the performance or after the incident, and no one was found hiding there. So the tunnel's become like a secret chamber then. You know, like the kind you usually see in novels. It seems so. Hmm. The plot begins. Halsey's disappearance and Cowell's death 
are both quite inexplicable. Do Halsey and Cowell have beef or something, and maybe this is Halsey's doing? <sighs> no wonder Farina was so confident in her accusation. All the current evidence points toward Linny and Lynette. In other words, the charges are very likely to be upheld unless we make some considerable progress. Charges and then trial. So if the charges are upheld, they'll announce a sentence? That's right. This is how a trial goes in the Opera House. During the proceedings, the Chief Justice and the Oratrice will hear statements from both sides. The Oratrice will too. That's right. This is how indemnidium is produced. The statements from both sides, the defenses from attorneys, witness testimonies, and even the audience's emotions will all be projected on the Oratrice. To put it simply, it's as if the Oratrice has its own will and is a judge in its own right. This also precludes any kind of favoritism on the part of the Chief Justice. And not that this has ever happened anyway. Fascinating. Once both sides have finished speaking, the Chief Justice will make his final decision. This, too, will be used by the Oratrice as a reference. Then, finally, the Oratrice will be consulted by officials. The result it returns is the will of justice itself. Huh? So that machine is the one that actually decides? I'm on button of a lead called the shots. In practice, there is very little difference. Both have but, like, always it's a machine, come to the though. same judgment. Which is why people have great faith in the Chief Justice. Ah! Yes, the guards also asked me to convey that none of us will be allowed to leave this place before the trial. Huh? What? Because we've chosen to act as the twins' proxies, that makes us persons related to the case. <sighs> They're concerned that we might be colluding with outside parties, or that we might find outside help to disrupt the case. And even if that were not so, it could prove problematic if we happen to spread key information about the case ahead of time. I'm ready to break out at any time. But, okay, Silver. Whoa, whoa, there's no need for that. Paimon thinks they have a point. That said- Of course. I just hope you don't mind the lack of options. I'm afraid that catering to all tastes is not in the cards, nor is any guarantee of balanced nutrition. Now's not the time to be picky. In that case, let's just sort out our findings together here. Pity. I was hoping to take you to try some of Fontaine's famous desserts, too. Oh, that would be lovely. I just had macaroons. I mean, what better way to properly think through our findings than over some tea and sweets? Huh. Breaking out suddenly doesn't seem like such a bad idea after all. Paimon. Just kidding! Just kidding! Paimon will still do her best, even if there are no snacks. Hmm? Huh? What do you mean, no snacks? Of course we'll have snacks. If we cannot buy some, then we'll simply make some. Huh? Here? But how? Understood, demoiselle. Everyone, please come with me. Don't we have a case? Why are we making snacks? I'm so confused right now. Guys? Hello? Aren't we supposed to be solving Lenny's case? Y'all, what is with Genshin Wait, characters getting so off topic? you're carrying a portable stove with you? Yes. I must be prepared to meet the demoiselle's baking needs whenever the fancy strikes her. I have eggs, sugar, and almonds at the ready. <laughs> Good work, you two. Then I'll get to it. Please sit tight for a moment. You'll get to taste my awesome snacks soon enough. These three are quite the interesting group. Must be a Spina di Rosola thing. Navia methodically handles the ingredients and pulls fresh macaroons out of the oven in short order. Ooh, yummy! I had one like this and one like that. better now. Paimon can't stop drooling. From the way you had these two guys carrying all that stuff around, Paimon thought you'd have them do more Where'd the couch and the table process? come from? But you ended up doing the entire thing by yourself! Beating the egg whites, grinding almonds, everything! I was applauding. And I was giving encouraging smiles. <laughs> uh, that's not what quite what Paimon meant, but okay. Uh, Paimon was just thinking. Aren't you worried about getting your fancy dress dirty, beating egg whites, and baking like this? <laughs> well, I don't think it's carved in stone anywhere that fancy ladies can only read books, sip tea, ride horses, and play the piano. I just really enjoy making snacks. Don't underestimate beating egg weights, by the way. It's a real arm workout. You also need to beat them to just the right consistency, or your macarons will crack. Anyway, give these a try, fresh out of the oven. There's three for each of us. Only three? They have little faces on them. Well... Eating too many sweet treats might send all that sugar to your head. <laughs> Here. 
You wouldn't be able to think clearly about the case on a sugar rush, would you? Tea is ready to be served as well. This is Demoiselle's favorite. Strong black tea with a floral fragrance. Oh my god, that Navia, you are one for my spirit. heart, darling. Thank you. No need for concern. I'm merely doing as I should. All right, then. <clears throat> Down to business. As Paimon mentioned previously, the tunnel seems to be something of a secret chamber. However, we can assume that Linny and Lynette were not alone within it. Some criminal also occupied its sealed confines. The magician twins could have committed the crimes, of course, but they lack any logical motive. Exactly! Why would they do such a thing right when everyone was watching? So apart from the twins... The flower vase and the thud we heard during the performance could indicate some altercation between Halsey and the criminal in the tunnel, resulting in the shattering of the vase, the discarding of her clothes, and her abduction. Perhaps the criminal thought that since she was chosen from the crowd, she would be too easy to identify if she was still wearing the same clothes. Paimon thinks that makes sense, but the real trouble is... There's no evidence that this third person exists. True. None of the clues we found thus far support the existence of this third person. I'm telling you, the girl was- she changed her clothes purposely. She left purposely. But, the only people left to consider are both technically victims. Whether it's the missing girl, Halsey, or poor Cowl. Huh. Could Halsey have secretly made modifications to the magic props in order to murder Cowl before making her escape? But she had no way of knowing how the magic trick worked. Uh, that's right. And even if she had tampered with the setup, she would need to understand the entire trick to pull it off. Nor does she have any motive. The guards said that she has never had any dealings with the Magic Troop's members. <sighs> Were we not thorough enough in our search? From the sound of things, this is turning into an impossible case. Your macarons are amazing though, Navia. They smell great! They're nice and crisp and super sweet. <laughs> they are my specialty after all. And I see you've already had five of them. What? Five? Oh, that can't be right. Paimon only counted three. Honest. Paimon. Please don't worry about it. At my age, a few less sweets might actually be a good thing. Uh, no, no. Being greedy is one thing, but Paimon knows how to count. Five. that if she ate too many, then others wouldn't have enough. It's fine. If you ate them, you ate Wait. them. Feeling beautifully, Paimon? Oh, how could you? If Paimon ate those two extra macarons, then may they turn into stone in her stomach. I'll be waiting for you to sink to the floor. <laughs> All right, we get it. Well, I suppose one of us might have gotten too engrossed in our chat and eaten them by mistake. No big deal. Malus, set up the stove again, if you would. Huh? Making sure everyone gets three macarons, of course. Well, there's really no need to do that. Exactly. We don't want to trouble you. As you wish, demoiselle. And I have the egg, sugar, and almonds. <laughs> what the heck is with these people? Uh, well, this really is your hobby, huh? Navio does a second round of baking over the two missing macarons. However, the discussion that follows does not yield much progress. Well, that's it for snack time. I'm going to have another look around the area. I don't know what we're looking for yet. But we've still got some time. As attorneys, I suggest the two of you think the case over again. It would be awkward if you got all tongue-tied on stage during the trial. All right, thanks for your help, and for the snack. Oh, <laughs> it was nothing. A small task for the Spina di Rosula. Silver, Malus, it's time to go. Bye, Navia. I'll be back if I find anything new. Neither Caldwell nor Halsey had a motive, but after having talked to Navia, the likelihood of a third person being involved seems very too low. Okay. All right, Wait. it's time to put our heads together. We've got to get our defense ready for the trial. Oh, it's probably going to be a long and difficult case. <laughs> There's no point in worrying about that now. We just need to prepare. Really? Here, take Pylon's notes. They should help you review the situation. Uh, do I have the notes available to me? That is not the notes. <laughs> Boy. Plus item? Oh my god, I have child's thing right here. Child's vision. There's a child has control them. I can't believe I actually have it in my inventory. Alright. Whoever the murderer was, 
They must have made preparations well beforehand. Okay. This rope was obviously tampered with. People needed to register and reserve a seat for the show. <gasps> that, combined with this number selector, could allow you to pick a young lady instead of some old fogey. This is probably a prop, too. Oh, looks like it could hook onto a lot of things. <gasps> like the traveler's fishing rod! So, the thing is, what's with the middle hook? We understand the rope was burnt, but it also was made out of flammable material in the first place. Along with a random number sec sec selector that was damaged. This is probably a prop for the show. But it also could have been used in the crime. Haima doesn't get this at all. You think about it for a bit, Traveler. Why would it be him? Hmm. How strange. Gosh. No wonder the serial disappeared. We all Gaia? heard that noise, didn't we? The performance would not have been visible from where the doors were guarded. <laughs> if Paimon were on duty, she would have snuck back into the audience seating. Wait. What'd you say, Paimon? The performance would not have been visible from where the doors were guarded. <laughs> if Paimon were on duty, she would have snuck back into the audience seating. Yeah. Well, there was no chance Paimon could have seen that the box had two layers. And that's why only the two of them can perform this. There was no third person. And digging a tunnel just for a magic trick? Whew. That must have been a lot of work. That size wouldn't have been a problem for Paimon. Okay, we're missing some things from the tunnel. And also some things from the opera house. So, I clearly gotta go look around some more. Hold on, do I still have the... No, I don't. Can I not investigate anymore? I want to know. Can I not investigate anymore? Hold on. Did I miss something in here? Examine the tracks. How's the sit? Oh, examine these boxes. Examine trolley. Investigate. Did I miss something in the tunnel? <laughs> yeah. Here. Huh. Okay, I guess I examined everything in here. I investigate the clothing, the base, the tracks, the examine the control board, water. I don't think I can examine anymore, which is unfortunate, because I'm missing items, which hurts me inside. Ugh. This is so weird. Can I go back here? No, I can't. Okay, Maurice gave me all the info I needed. Point line. Box. I guess I really can't do anything. I can't I can't investigate anymore. I'm missing some entries though. Which bothers me. Like why am I missing this? Why would it be hit? Not yet investigated. Cease identity. Hmm. What? Three out of three. Strange. Okay, well, I suppose I'll... What time do I have to wait for? I have to go to 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock, all right. Let's see. Alrighty, I wish this could go by faster. Oh boy. What do we do? The whole situation is so confusing. I do have some thoughts. Good plan. 
Impossible things don't just happen. Look into the truth one way or another. Uh, just relax. Even if everyone else suspects Lenny and Lynette, at least we will be supporting them from the stands. Besides, I doubt Farina understands any more about what happened than we do. Thanks, Navia. Well, we'll be going then. Best of luck to you. We're not gonna investigate anymore, but my notebook is still empty on things. Did I seriously miss things? That hurts me inside. Please tell me that that's not gonna remain like that and I miss things, like, please. Ah, finally, you're back. Well, how did your investigation go? Not great, not gonna lie. To be honest, you might be disappointed. No, no, we're already very grateful that you were willing to help. Well, now, don't you all look disappointed. Don't tell me that your investigation came up empty-handed. That was to be expected, of course. The guilty can never produce proof of their innocence. But don't let that stop you. I shall be terribly disappointed should you, my most anticipated foe, concede so easily. Just you wait. Since both parties are present, I declare that the trial regarding the magic show incident is now in session. Firstly, in order for the audience to understand the causes and results of the incident, could we please have Mr. Linney explain the trick? Ah, <sighs> time to run Yes, magic. of course. I will explain while Lynette demonstrates on stage. All the necessary items have been prepared. Linney clearly reveals the details of the magic trick. Everyone in the audience is stunned. Thank you, Mr. Linney. In that case, I take your statement to be that you ran to and remained hidden within the magic box in the audience stands once the trick began, and thus could not have committed the crime. Is this correct? Yes, that's correct, Your Honor. In that case, I call upon the prosecution. Lady Farina, do you wish to refute his statement in any way? Why, of course I do. Allow me to take the first shot and break this case wide open. Mr. Lenny is clearly lying. Why is he lying? There is no way you could have been in the box the whole time if you were to abduct Halsey and murder Cowell. In fact, I'd say you were hardly in that tunnel at all. That is simply your hypothesis based on the presumption that I'm guilty. Oh, is that so? And if I may ask, what did you hear while you were inside your box? The roaring countdown of the crowd, of course. That's how I kept track of the time and built anticipation for the finale. And you didn't hear anything else at all? Nothing that might leave an impression of any kind? No, nothing. I see. But when the count reached 30 seconds or so, there was a thud. One so loud that I believe practically everyone heard it. Huh? Hey, hang on! Something's not right here. How could Lenny not know about that sound? Yeah, I'm sure he could have heard a noise that loud from inside the box. I was right by the box, and I definitely heard the thud. Uh, that's how the those scales. Could those be probably represent the archer's stance on the trial? <laughs> well then, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to use the words of the magician himself. You never know what can happen in the blink of an eye. Indeed, it seems his alibi can also collapse in the blink of an eye. <laughs> of course, I have armed myself to do far more than smash your alibi. Confidence cannot go unfounded, and my foundations are rock solid. Mm -hmm. Tell me, aren't you and Lynette actually from the House of the Heart? What? The House of the Heart? They're Fatui? Wait a minute, what? No wonder they did something like this. So the serial disappearances were the Fatui's doing. Now it all makes sense. I've got a feeling that what happened on stage probably wasn't just an accident. That's oh. irrelevant. Our identities have nothing to do with what happened. Indeed. Then perhaps you could tell us everything that happened during that one minute. Your first priority is to prove yourself innocent after all. I'm sure there is little that needs to be kept secret now. Unless your script already has holes in it. Bro, I'm just starting to really... She's Vosler is really grating on my nerves. Think, Traveler, think. 
the Outlander is speechless. My, oh my, don't they look what? flabbergasted? <laughs> now comes the infighting in Discord, I suppose. This was almost too easy. Oh, good thing I made all those preparations. Seems the all-nighter I pulled last night is really paying off. Oh, uh, she was the one who did this? <laughs> hey, Linny! Why didn't you tell us this before? Linny and Lynette are the two. Order! Order! Mr. Linny, allow me to reestablish the facts. Lady Farina has raised two points. First, when the thud was heard in the Opera House, you were neither in the box nor the tunnel. Second, you and Ms. Lynette are both members of the House of the Hearth. Are these claims true? <sighs> There's no doubt about Magician's ability to con others, given how Linny was concealed his identity. This could also have been set up beforehand. Plus, Child is here in Fontaine along with the other house operatives. There must be some scheme at work here. I've been a victim of such schemes before, and now... No, Traveler, don't fall for Please it! Please answer my question, Mr. Linny. I'm sorry. Yes, they're true, Your Honor. Well, he's being honest. I knew it! Well, that's it. We might as well move on to the sentencing already. You people, shush! What should we do now? Permission to speak, Granted. Your Honor? My client has withheld some key information. In that case, what is your request? I request a brief adjournment. There are things that must be discussed. Is that really necessary? They're already as good as guilty. The defendant deceived their own attorneys. What is there left to discuss? It wasn't relevant to the case right order. then. Order, I said. Your request is reasonable, and we shall adjourn. This trial will reconvene in one hour. <laughs> so you would stick to Mr. Lenny's defense even after knowing what you do now? You certainly have more professionalism than I thought. In that case, my dear audience, let's allow the joy of victory to steep for a little while longer. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Whilst court is adjourned, you meet with Linny and Lynette backstage in the Opera House. Explain. Now. Talk. Well, this is awkward. I didn't think the Hydro Archon would dig all that up. I'm sorry, Traveler and Paimon. Yeah, sorry. Where to start? We trusted you two. We based our entire reasoning on the assumption that you weren't bad guys. Not to set the wrong tone or anything, but Paimon's really mad. I mean, just because they were once part of Fatui, does that mean they're necessarily bad? I'm very sorry. I know you're angry, and reasonably so, but please, let me explain. I know you've clashed with the Fatui several times before. I wouldn't be surprised if just hearing the word is enough to make you upset. But our organization is very, very large, and the Harbingers have very different personalities and goals. Right now, we want to save people. As many as we can. That's right. I'm sure we're on the same page when it comes to this nation and the disaster that its people might face. I knew if it weren't for our respective identities, we could become good friends. That's why I didn't wish to flat out lie to you, but chose to hide some details instead. The truth is very important, but... Being completely transparent about everything would see us spending more effort than we need to. But how can we know this isn't all another lie? Right. So, you be the judge. Heck, if I were you, I fear that I'd even struggle to trust me at this point. You met a Fatus who works as a magician, a trickster by trade. All by coincidence, too. But still, I'm asking you to trust me. I am no criminal. At least, not in this case. Sorry. Please forgive us. You both say that, but... Explain the other issue first. You're not right. gi but giving me answers. Answer first, and no lies now. Of course. I'll answer any question you ask. We've been trying to find out how the Oratrice operates. We want to know why it has consciousness. Why can it deliver sentences accurately? During our investigations, we learned that the machine's core is beneath it. From that moment on, Lynette and I have been designing this box swap trick with the objective of getting close to the core. Is that why you needed a whole minute? That's right. In truth, the audience would take about 75 seconds to count down from 60, while I would only need 15 to get to the opposite box. So, after jumping into the tunnel, I accessed the Opera House basement via the vent, and went to investigate the room in which the core is stored. 
That air vent was created during the construction of the tunnel specifically to execute this step. Now what did you find? Well, nothing. As soon as I reached that room and was about to investigate, I heard someone's voice. Which should have been impossible, of course. I was quite certain that I was the only one in the room. That voice seemed to recognize me and tried to speak to me. I chose to err on the side of caution and retreated the way I came. On the way back, I saw the broken vase and the clothes on the ground. But the countdown was almost finished, so there wasn't time to give it any thought. After that, the homicide occurred just as you saw. Well, that explains why you didn't hear the thud. But why do you want to understand how the Oratrice operates? Because of that prophecy I told you about, of course. We must know all we can about this nation's secrets in order to deal with that prophesized crisis. That's the only way we can save everyone. So, there you have it. The whole truth. I swear, I didn't hide anything from you this time. It was never my wish to proceed under this cloud of mistrust either. But, like I said earlier, you can be the judge. If you want to leave because you don't trust the Fatui, there's nothing I can do to stop you. Well, Traveler, you I decide. mean, we're friends with Child. I will follow your lead however you choose. Kind of. I believe in the facts. I will defend you from these charges. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for giving us a chance. The current problem is that I'm too nice, guys. I'm too nice. Against you two. If we want to refute the Hydro Archon's accusations, we're gonna need a seriously watertight defense. Actually, we already have the key evidence we huh? need. The adjournment's almost over. Let's go back. Mm. Oh, Paimon thinks she gets what you mean. Lenny claims that he headed to the chamber containing the Oratrice Corps upon entering the tunnel and did not witness the crime taking place, and thus did not hear the thud. Lenny claims to have heard a mysterious voice within the chamber that houses the Oratrice Corps within the Opera's house's underground structures. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Well, Solar. Oh, wait. Did that fill up my book? Is that what I was missing? Hold on. Whoever the murderer was, they must have made preparations well beforehand. Why would it be him? <sighs> Hyman hopes he's telling the truth. Doesn't seem likely that anyone could have been there. Okay, we need one more thing. We're missing one more thing from here. Okay. Everything is negotiable. It's a brief adjournment ends and the nail biting trial reconvenes. Both parties have returned to their positions. Let us continue the trial. When last we left off, Mr. Linney acknowledged the new evidence presented by Lady Farina as fact. Therefore, Lady Farina may continue stating her reconstruction of the events. Ugh, that took long enough. Now then, if everyone would lend me their attention, at this stage, let's revisit that scene from Linny's perspective. All right, based on the opposition's account of events, you can identify loopholes in their statement. Oh God, no, I need to really pay attention. Use evidence and clues obtained during the investigation to refute any erroneous assertions of the fact and replace them with new inferences. Please tell me this isn't a time limit thing. I pray to God. Use your refutations to convince the audience and obtain more support from the people. The Oratress will display such shifts clearly. When you find the refute, all incorrect content can complete the cycle of refutation and unveil the truth. Okay. As the countdown began, he entered the tunnel. When the flatbed trolley passed, he opened the box and got into an altercation with Halsey, which caused the loud thud. He did not realize that this sound could be heard by everyone in the opera house, which is why he claimed earlier that he could not hear the sound. Finally, he used the vase to knock her out before making her change clothes to prevent others from recognizing her. At this time, Cowell arrived in the tunnel, having heard that strange noise, and caught Linny red-handed. So Linny proceeded to knock him out too before stuffing him into that box. Afterward, Linny passed the unconscious Halsey to his accomplice through the magic box in the audience stands, before operating the devices such that Cowell's death would be ruled an accident. Okay. And there you have it. That's the truth behind what happened. Does the defendant's side have any objections to Lady Farina's description of the events? 
The key to refuting Lady Farina is the order of events. What will he experience and what he saw? Okay. Alright. Identify Lupos. Lenny entered the tunnel as the countdown began. Okay. Lenny claims that he headed to the chamber containing the Oratrice core upon entering the tunnel and did not witness the crime taking place. Okay, wait, hold on. Lenny entered the tunnel as the countdown began. The voice. Uh. Strange sound and image. Lenny claims that he headed to the chamber containing the Oratrice core upon entering the tunnel. Witness the crime taking place. And did not hear the thud. The loud sound was from Lenny and Halsey's fight, but Lenny claimed that he heard nothing in order to cover up the truth. Oratrice. Into the tunnel. Witness the crime taking place. Close belonging to Halsey went missing. We found the tunnel. The reason for that remains unknown. Lenny must have been very confused when he saw them. At the time, Lenny knocked Halsey out and using the vase to remove her clothes to prevent her to fight. However, Lenny was really in the tunnel at the time. Okay. Uh, Lenny claims he headed to the chamber where he did not witness the crime taking place and thus did not hear the thud. Which one do I refute with, though? Cowell walked in on Lenny, so the latter knocked him out and the vase leading to the victim's death. Evidence indicates that Lenny returned to the tunnel. Uh, tunnel. The crime had already taken place, and then all Lenny saw was... Opera House. No one left the Opera House show, and after the incident happened, only those who had identities cleared by the guards could leave. This design magic prop activated caused the water tank to crash down. It seemed like an accident. Okay, let's repeat the first scene. And it, Lenny entered the tunnel. Lenny entered the tunnel as the countdown began. Lenny claims that he headed to the chamber containing the Oratrice core upon entering the tunnel. Not when it's the crime taking place. Lenny claims that he have heard a mysterious voice. During the session before there was an audible thumb. I think it was this one. Mm. Oh, it tells me. Oh no, did I repeat the wrong one already? This one? Okay, yes. According to Lenny... He left via the vent after entering the tunnel. He couldn't have had that altercation with Halsey. Okay. According to Lenny, he left via the vent during the tunnel. He could not have had that altercation with Halsey. Okay. This one. Then he entered the tunnel as the countdown began. Um. No one left the opera house. So after that, the instant. Electrus chamber house sources. Perform sample thump. Okay. Let's do this one. Uh. Ground structure. Mm. Ugh, sorry, I'm really bad at this, guys. Mm. Hold on. Uh. No, what? Is it this one? Mm. Oh my god, what am I- I'm so dumb, guys. I'm so dumb. Forgive me. Kawa walked in on Lenny, so the latter knocked him out of the vase, leading the victim's death. The existing evidence indicates by loopholes. No one left the opera house during the magic show. So it happened only those identities cleared. I was blind. Very confused. Mm. What? So, wait, what? Seriously? Why? Lenny did not take part in the underground altercation. He only witnessed traces of the accident. Okay, well, that's not very specific, Bran. Like, these th these clues are not very specific. Uh, Lenny knocked H H Halsey out uh, using the vase and removed her clothes to prevent her from being identified. However, was Lenny really in the tunnel at the time? Lenny went to the room that contains the Oratrice's core. This is the actual truth. Okay. Wait, I didn't do the last two. <laughs> Attention! Ace Detective Paimon has something to say! When the countdown started, Linny did indeed go into the tunnel. But he immediately used a vent to access the Opera House basement, which is where the underground core of the Oratrice is stored. Once he reached that area, he heard a voice in what should have been an empty room. Since he felt something was amiss, he returned immediately. 
The crime scene had already developed by the time he reached the tunnel again. And in order to complete the magic trick, he did not remain there for any length of time. Finally, he reached the surface. And that was when the accident happened from his point of view. Therefore, he's innocent. All right, there you go. Successful refutation. I was terrible at that, forgive me. I believe my opposition's reasoning is flawed. <laughs> my reasoning? However you say, the cow all bumped into Lenny by chance. The onstage equipment was clearly tampered with in a premeditated fashion. You say that cow bumped into Lenny by chance? If that's the case, then if cow hadn't entered the tunnel, who was the entire setup meant to kill? Assuming that what you say is true, Lenny only needed to kidnap the young girl to cause a new disappearance case. What would the point of killing someone on stage be? Oh, they have a point. <laughs> that's right, you tell them! And that's why they're partners of mine. They've managed to turn things around. Oh, well, your denial is very strident. I'll give you that. But what proof do you have to back your You literally... Claims? Don't you remember? Of course I do. If he had been in the magic box the whole time, how could he have not heard that sound? Would you ask? <laughs> You're saying that he wasn't? Yep. Your claim has become my weapon. Choose the most reason- wait, what? Which evidence that Lenny wasn't in the tunnel when the crime took place? Offer- okay. Oh, irrelevant. Okay, so these are- okay. Irrelevant. Strange sound during the CH Opera House. No one left the Opera House during the magic show, and after the incident happened, only those who had their identities cleared for the guards to know. Halsey is a missing person. She's a famous painter. During which switching performance, there was an audible thump, and many audience members heard it. Audience, right? That's right! Lenny wasn't in the box or in the tunnel! Yeah. That's why he didn't hear anything strange during the performance! This means that when the crime happened, Lenny had already entered the basement via the vent. The same clue you used to disprove his alibi has now <laughs> become so the best proof! <laughs> How do you like that? <laughs> well played. <laughs> to think you'd use such logic. Well then, if it wasn't Lenny who committed the crimes, then who was it? The murderer was... Select the gear icons in the interface to check the corresponding case questions. Select answers and fill out all the empty gears to verify the correctness of your deduction. If you have made mistakes, you must take another selection from the remaining options. Once you have answered all the questions correctly, you can complete this logic charm. The guard's investigation report indicates that the fireworks released near the end of the show ignited and burned through the rope, suspending the water tank above the stage. This caused the water tank to fall and kill Caldwell in the box below. If Lenny is no longer under suspicion, only the other members of the troop would have been able to tamper with the props. Lenny gave a detailed account of how the trick was supposed to work by using a box inside a box. The idea was for the box to con containing the audience member to be transported across via a tunnel underneath, and Lenny himself would also use this tunnel to get to the other side. Having changed her outfit, Lynette and her assistant would take charge of on-stage interactions. The clothes belonging to Halsey, the lady who went missing, were found in the tunnel. The reason for this remains unknown. Select any clue and view the detailed information. The deceased's name is Cowell, Lenny's assistant. He would have been able to tamper with the equipment. Halsey is the missing person and an ordinary audience member. Or did she have her own scheme all along? Could there have been a third person involved? Is there I don't think there was a third person. I think it was Halsey. Halsey is the missing person and an ordinary audience member. I know it doesn't make much sense, but why would you explain her dress on the ground? Oh, what? Ugh. The 
deceased's name is Cowl, Lenny's assistant. He would have been able to tamper with the equipment. Hmm. Was there? Could there have been a third person involved? How could it have been Caldwell, though? What? Why? The deceased's name is. Fine, Cowell. take it. I'm done with this. Oh my god. Yeesh. I'm so confused. Explain this to me. I'm dumb as rocks. I need to go back to school, guys. I'm going back to school that next can't week. Be right. Are you serious? I know, Prime. Me too. Um, the killer was, in fact, Cowl, the deceased. Oh, is that so? How interesting. Hey, I, I would like to hear your reasoning. Let's hear your reasoning then. What I must do next is recreate the truth. What Cowl did, and how he went from would-be perpetrator to victim. Okay, how can we envision Linny as having been unable to interfere with the crime? No one entered or left the opera house through its entrances. So, where would the criminal have wanted to take Halsey? The deceased's name is Cowell, Linny's assistant. He would have been able to tamper with the equipment. Halsey's clothing was in the tunnel. So, there must have been some fear that she would attract attention. The sound we heard may have come from a clash between the missing Halsey and the criminal. Lenny was not in the tunnel at that moment, which gave our criminal ample time. It would have been tough for both people to fit into that vent. They would likely have bumped into Lenny as well. Okay. Can I, how can I prove that there was an altercation? There was an altercation in the tunnel. The sound we heard may have come from a clash between the this one. Who is the prime suspect currently? The deceased's name is Cowell. This one. Where did the missing Halsey go? No one entered or left the opera house through its entrances. Okay. The sound we heard no. may have come. Halsey's clothing was in the tunnel. Or attention. So there must have been some fear that uh. she would attract attention. It would have been tough for both people. Wait, to fit. what about? No one entered or left the opera house through its entrances. Okay, no. Halsey's I think it was this one, right? Was in the Okay, I'm saying those two are wrong. Okay. No one entered or left. Where did the missing person Halsey go? Lenny was not in the tunnel at that moment, which gave our criminal ample time. It would have been tough for both people to fit into that vent. No. Okay. Halsey's clothing was in. Lenny was not in the tunnel at the- Oh! Wait, no, what? Lenny was not wait. in the tunnel at- Wait. No one entered or left the- I'm so confused on how this works. Why? The criminal must have understood the methods behind Lenny's magic trick. It must have been in a position to easily modify the equipment. Leaving aside how he died, Caldwell and all the means to commit the crime at his disposal. The strange noise could likely have been the sound of Caldwell and Halsey struggling. Lenny was not in the tunnel for one minute. This would have given time for Caldwell to bring Halsey out of the magic box in the audience stands. But according to the guard's testimony, no one entered or left the opera house, so even if he'd taken her, there'd be no means of exiting. Exiting from the box would have been in full view of the audience, pretty much guaranteeing that they would be discovered. What's wrong, Traveler? Are you still having trouble figuring things out? Where in the world did Halsey go? <laughs> I see how it is. So this was all just a bluff. And here I thought you had I'm so dumb. To Hi, Natty. Welcome to the stream. Also, so Natty, can you? I can't the find the link to your YouTube. I can't find your profile. Can you send me the link, please? I'm really sorry. I'm really dumb. I can't find the Discord link. I, I don't know where it is. I, is this it? Copy channel ID? Or no, no, that's just for Discord. I don't know where it is, Natty. Can you send it to me, please? I'm so sorry. I want to put it in the description. I haven't been able to. Look, since we're at a dead end, why not consider a different track? Just like the trick as it transpired, the end result must have been utterly different from the magician's initial design. If only we knew how Halsey disappeared. Well, that would be nice, but the tunnel only has three exits, and none of them seem very likely. And it's not like this is a magic trick where you can just make a real live person disappear. You know, like you did from that water tank, Lynette. Escaping from the water tank. 
Wait, could it have been the water? <laughs> Excuse my interruption, dear opponents. But do you not see that the crowd is growing impatient? There is no greater sin in this opera house than an awkward delay in the performance. Sorry, give me one second, y'all. Not this one. Eh. Okay. Oops, wrong time. Wait, Oratrice, hold on. If the defense is unable to make further effective arguments, we will move on no, to the next stage on. of the trial. Hold on a second. Lenny was not in the tunnel at that moment, which gave our criminal ample time. The sound we heard may have come from a clash between the missing Halsey and the criminal. The deceased's name is Cowell, Lenny's assistant. He would have been able to tamper with the equipment. Okay. The vase was not broken by chance. It was used to cover important evidence. The water. Yay, I've clicked something right for once. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, give me a second. All right. There you go, guys. If you want to check out the channel for the person who did my PNG, Natty, I put the link in the description just now. So please go check her out and give her lots of love. Sorry. All right. Oh, Paimon gets it. It all comes together if Halsey disappeared instead of being kidnapped. Lynette escaped from the water tank, vanishing gradually and leaving only clothes behind. If there's a similar method... I didn't even think of that. <laughs> Just a moment, please. I do hope you know how preposterous you sound at the moment. How could a person ever be transformed into water? This is reality we're talking about here, not some magic trick. I request that we examine Caldwell's personal effects. <sighs> Must we really? I should think that of anyone. Your friend Linny already knows this truth very well. Magic tricks are ultimately just illusions and misdirection. But Halsey's disappearance is very real. We're talking about two completely different things. Even so, I trust the Traveler's judgment. The truth must be out there somewhere. Perhaps a new line of reasoning may open if we try to gather all the focal points that don't make sense. Since Cal was the deceased, we haven't placed much attention on him. But given that we aren't making much progress with the case, it wouldn't hurt to have a look at his belongings, would it? <sighs> People really do come up with all sorts of harebrained schemes when at the end of their rope. The way I see it. Your suggestion that we broaden the scope of our investigation is nothing but a tactic for stalling the trial. Nevertheless, I believe that this is a reasonable request on the part of an attorney. Since the trial does indeed appear to be at an impasse, I believe that additional evidence may help us make more progress. Guards, please step into the lounge and examine His the eyes personal are so effects pretty, of the man. deceased, Cowell. After some time, a guard returns with news. We are still examining the items, but we have already made critical progress that we feel must be shared with everyone post haste. I hope you're having a good day, Natty. Thank you for sending me the link. I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay. We discovered several test tubes of fluid within Cowell's baggage, each labeled separately. The notebook in his backpack claims that these fluids are water from the primordial sea. The primordial sea. The note's contents also indicate that Cowell belonged to an organization that sells illegal drugs and that he had an accomplice. The notebook has many entries concerning safe usage of these fluids, in which the keyword dissolve appears many times. One of these tubes was labeled Opera Epicles, along with yesterday's date. It is empty. The notes also state that these dissolution properties work exclusively on people from Fontaine. It's likely that Halsey was chosen as some sort of test subject. As such, we believe that the defense's hypothesis is, in fact, supported by sufficient evidence. You've got to be kidding. People dissolving into water? 
Could something so ridiculous actually be true? Wait a moment. This reminds me of a certain prophecy, but it's just a coincidence, isn't it? Huh. If people can become water, does that mean that the water tank's real use was as a means to hide water stains? And if Howell was targeting that girl... Wait just a minute. Could that mean... You two, with me, quick! Demoiselle, wait! What about your partners? Mm, let's go. Just trust me. Order! Order! Oh, dang. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> it is undeniable that further examination of the deceased's personal effects has yielded some surprising results. But we cannot yet verify the veracity of these clues. Still, let us assume that these clues are indeed authentic, albeit with the understanding that Ms. Halsey has yet to be found. Guards, please continue examining the items along these lines. Mr. Linney, it appears your hypothesis is supported by the evidence, so please continue speaking. Of course. Thank you, Your Honor. If we uphold this hypothesis, I believe that many of this case's seemingly unrelated clues can be connected together. Right! Like the metal hook! That one didn't make sense at all. Hmm. Let's think about this. Cowell's methods must have something to do with that... Water from the primordial sea. The liquid of guards found in Kalel's luggage seems to have the ability to dissolve Fontanians into water. Okay, who is the prime suspect currently? The deceased's name is Cowell. Lin okay, what item did the culprit use to code the timing of the dissolution? The water from the primordial sea should already have been prepped before Hal- That one. What item did the culprit use to dissolve Hale's name? Ah! The water from the primordial sea should al- No, can I take it back? The water from oh, I the primordial sea should already have been prepped before- The rope that strung the water tank up was lit by the fireworks and cut. As such, the focus here is on the water and not the tank. Okay. Solve Hazley. The this. water from the primordial sea. What item did the culprit use to hide the mechanisms from behind the crime? Now it seems like the hook rope was not meant for another magic trick, but was instead some form of triggering mechanism. Lynette was in the magic box on stage the in I remember there was something else within the inner layer of that box. Okay, okay, uh... The rope that strung the water tank up was lit by the fireworks and cut. As such, the f What item did the culprit use to hide the mechanism behind the crime? Now it seems like the hook rope... That one? No! Do I have to switch them? Okay. What was the time of disillusion? Lynette was in the magic box on stage the entire time. Did I remember there was something else... Oh wait, okay, this one? And then what item, and then this the item. The rope that strung the water tank. Right? What? Ugh. Lynette was in the magic box. Okay. I remember there was something. This one? Okay, I'm missing just that one. Now it seems like the hook. Okay, that's right. Okay, there we go. My goodness, why am I so bad at this? Alright, well at least I was on the right track. I would not be It's Ace Detective Paimon's time to shine again! In the original plan, Cowell would tamper with the water tank rope and the number selector securing his target. When the magic box containing Halsey was lowered, the metal hook would retract gradually and pierce the balloon at the top of the box. When the balloon attached to the box popped, the water from the primordial sea inside it would pour down and dissolve Halsey. Afterward, Cowl would enter the tunnel and break the flower vase to conceal the water inside the tunnel, with the remaining evidence being covered up by the water tank on stage. But... He encountered something unexpected in the tunnel and wound up being fatally hit by the same water tank he meant to use to cover his tracks. Huh, that does make sense. That actually links together a lot of the more confusing pieces of evidence. <sighs> oh 
dear. What do I do? Even I think they sound convincing now. Have I falsely accused an innocent person? What a humiliation. Now, it seems like the only point of contention remaining is the exact circumstances yeah, that who, led to Cal's death. To him? His notes mentioned he had an accomplice who could be related to the situation. On that note, the guards have just contacted me indicating that they uncovered new evidence. I shall now invite him on stage to share it with us. Thank you, Your Honor. We were just inspecting the luggage of the other people involved in this case, and we found an identical sample of the water from the Primordial Sea among Linny's personal effects. Wait, what? Wh what? Who planted it? That can't be. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, how wonderfully comedic to have your own counterattack only to come back and wound you. Does this not clear all doubt? Someone framed him. My dear citizens, my loyal audience, allow me to present my reasoning and bring this performance to a swift close. No, not again. Linny did not need to take part in the dissolution of the young woman at all. Indeed, he did leave the scene via the vent. Having made modifications to the props beforehand, his accomplice Cowl then caused Halsey to vanish using the water from the primordial sea. But upon his return, in cruel avarice, Linny desired sole credit and prepared to do away with his partner in crime. Ultimately, he knocked Cowell out, and the tool meant to cover the crime up also became a murder weapon. Now, as much as I regret having come to such a viciously straightforward conclusion, it does seem that the famed Fatui is quite the cold-blooded and ruthless organization. No! Am I right? Mr. Linny, we've used up all the evidence we collected. There's no way for us to make a rebuttal here. Is this the end of the road? No! Oh no! Mm, I can't think of anything either. It doesn't look like there's any way around this. Uh, seems using the water as new evidence was too good a move. Oh, why did this have to happen now? I think we've all seen enough now, and we have ample witnesses to my flawless reason. I believe this is indeed the finale. No, wait. Now then, my good, noble Chief Justice, should we not, in your view, move... Huh? Excuse me, everyone, but I must interject. Miss, I must ask you not to shout and to respect the ongoing legal proceedings. Oh, come on. Don't be hasty. I have a good reason for interrupting, you know. Now, would anyone here like to take a little break from all this debate and see a little magic? I'll show you an amazing trick, one that can bring a young woman who has disappeared back in the flesh right before your very eyes. Please, do the honors, Mr. Linny, if you would be so kind. But what in the world is she saying? No offense, miss, but miracles like that are beyond my scope as a magician. Come on now, don't be silly. Magic is all about misdirection, isn't it? It often conceals the truth while presenting a fascinating illusion. But once everyone believes the illusion, can't magic reveal the truth to them once again? And wouldn't such a trick be the most marvelous finale to today's performance? Come on, Lenny and Lynette, give it another go. Don't worry. Spina di Rasula has made the necessary arrangements on your behalf. But, as the magic makers and stars of the show, I think I should leave the final performance to you. I understand. Is she sneaking them out? And voila! Um, uh, sorry for the interruption. Wait. Isn't that Halsey? So the whole thing about people dissolving wasn't true after all? To be clear, I'm only here because this person told me that if I testified, the merit of doing so would lessen my sentence. I was hiding outside this room listening to the proceedings because I was afraid that I would be the one put on trial. I was just feeling happy that no one had noticed me. And then before I knew it, she caught me. <laughs> 
I'll teach you to underestimate us three. Hmm. Where should I begin? <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm the one who killed Cowl. I admit it. But what? Why? Firstly, my name isn't Halsey. It's Lillian. And I'm originally you from, Mondstadt? from Mondstadt. I heard that Linny's show was gonna be a real thriller, but I missed the chance to buy a ticket, so I stole one. That's how I make a living. I steal stuff here. She and was there. the thief! And I'd never been caught before. But I was noticed at the harbor a few days ago, and I barely got away. Lenny was the one who caught me in the act. Hey! No wonder you look familiar! So you were the thief! Lenny even mentioned that you were pretty skilled! Well, and I thought that would have been the end of it, but then the number selector chose me. He even mentioned the Fortress of Meripede. That's a prison, isn't it? So you can imagine how shocked I was. I thought he was on to me for sure. So I played along with the show while looking for an opening to flee. But then I got water poured on me for no reason, and then someone jumped into the tunnel to nab me. Well, that's why it didn't work, because she wasn't from Fontaine. She was from Mondstadt. Oh, that's why it didn't work. I wasn't going to take that lying down. So I knocked him out and stuffed him into the box. <sighs> there was nowhere to run from there, though. So I had to change my clothes and hide in a box containing performance costumes. I slipped out after the first guard arrived at the scene and continued hiding inside the opera house. Can a person even hide in there? If they're practiced hand of concealment, probably. But I swear, I didn't know that the water tank would fall down. Really, I swear it. Had I known that, I wouldn't have put him in the magic box. I may be a thief, but I'm no killer. Well, that makes everything pretty clear now, doesn't it? Yeah, now it's time to refute the Hydro Archon's previous this reasoning. Time. We need to tell the entire story from Lillian's perspective. All right. Lenny entered the tunnel. Lenny entered the tunnel at the beginning of the count. Afterwards, he used the ventilation shaft to leave the tunnel and did not participate in dissolving the young woman. Uh... I don't know how to refute this one. Alright, kind of a little plan to use the prepared art apparatuses, apparatus, apparatuses for magic tricks to solve Halsey inside the magic box. As Halsey has appeared completely unharmed before all our eyes, Farina's conjecture no longer holds water. And how would Halsey have reacted when the water from the primordial sea suddenly began to trickle on her? Uh, there are many pieces of broken... Uh, clothes belonging to Halsey, the lady who went missing or found the tunnel. I think I need to refute this. Lenny wanted all the credit and the glory he wanted as Halsey. Fight did indeed break out in the tunnel. Uh, judging by the distance, it seems unlikely he was knocked over by the trolley transport. Uh, a rope had fallen to the ground and metal hook had been tied onto the end of the rope used to pop balloon. Lenny, hold out. Saw the young girl. How's he do? Fight. What did Halsey do? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hmm. No. Wait, what did I accidentally click? Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to click that. Ugh. I meant to look at this. Okay, Lenny knocked Caldwell out. Then, using the method using to solve the young girls, he got rid of Caldwell and disguised it as an accident as Halsey has appeared completely unharmed before all eyes. Farina's conjecture no longer holds water. That's a fight. When did it, then what did Halsey do? Um. Uh, I'm so bad at this. I'm just gonna click random things at this point. I'm so bad. Okay. Oh my god. Lillian was afraid that she would be recognized if she left. So she changed clothes and hid, biding her time. Just what one might expect of an experienced thief. I don't know how that makes sense. Lenny wanted to get all the credit and glory. Fight did indeed break out. Okay. The flower vase was not broken to cover anything up, but was smashed during the struggle between Lillian and Cowl. Okay. How would Halsey have reacted? There we go. The strange sound wasn't from a fight. It was Lillian's attempt to break out when she was frightened. There you go. And it's Ace Detective Paimon time! Having 
been selected out of the blue, Lillian panicked. Her panic only intensified after she entered the tunnel and had water poured on her head. So she kicked the door open, producing the thud we all heard. Hearing the commotion, Cowl leapt into the tunnel, only to discover that Lillian had not dissolved. He did not know that Lillian was not from Fontaine, but was a thief who made her way in by stealing a ticket. Mistakenly believing that the water from the Primordial Sea needed time to take effect, he tried to force Lillian back into the box. The two broke the flower vase during the struggle, but Lillian came out on top, knocking Cowl out and putting him in the box. With no way of escaping, she changed her clothes and hid in the costume trunk until the performance ended. Boom. Mic drop. Take that. I am done. That is all I needed to do. Okay. Haha. <laughs> that she would have to go through guard inspection if she tried to leave afterward. So, she has been trapped in the opera house these last two days. She had already become desperately hungry by the time we were chatting over macarons. So, she swiped two of them right under our noses. Talk about a sneaky thief. At this point, all the events that happened in the tunnel have now come to light. But why was the water dissolving stuff in your trunk, Linny? Ah, so that's the whole story. Like, did Kala try to frame him? Bravo! Bravo! Now then, Lady Farina, do you wish to speak against the defense's statements? I... Uh... <laughs> Please answer the question, Lady Farina. Also, if I may add, the trial has not yet ended. As such, I request that the prosecution not leave the room before the proceedings have concluded. <sighs> what? Are you reading my mind now? <sighs> no. I have no further arguments. I admit defeat. But really, could you at least have left me with some dignity? Wow. Look at that. She's like a deflated balloon now. If there are no objections, then as the Chief Justice of Fontaine, I shall once again repeat the full sequence of events. The actual perpetrator of the serial disappearances, Cowell, selected his next victim from the audience reservation list. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'll put this on auto. With some modifications to the selector, he could ensure that the pre-selected young woman would be chosen. To cover up any evidence while committing the deed, Cowell thought of allowing the water tank to fall which would conceal the water left behind after the young woman was dissolved. He also tampered with the rope suspending the water tank, using the fireworks at the end of the performance to cause the tank to drop and hide the water marks. He poured the water from the primordial sea into a balloon during the preparation of the magic box and stuck it to the box's lid. Finally, he passed the prepared hook on a rope through the gap in the magic box's door when bringing the young woman to said box. When the magic trick officially began, the box containing the woman was lowered into the tunnel, tightening the hook rope and bursting the balloon containing the water. If all had gone to plan, the young woman would be dissolved at this time. However, Lillianne was not from Fontaine and thus fled the box with a loud noise. Realizing that there was trouble, Cowell entered the tunnel and met Lillianne. Thinking that the waters had not yet taken effect, he decided to proceed. However, his opponent was more capable than he thought, and he was overcome, knocked unconscious, and placed into the magic box, and thus became his own final victim. Lillianne, according to her own statements, then changed clothes and hid until the performance ended, before hiding in other parts of the opera house. <gasps> As for Linny, he was in the underground structures within the opera house, and was thus ignorant of these happenings. From this reconstruction of events, we can conclude that Linny, the accused, is in fact innocent. Hooray, Linny and Lynette! Amazing! I'm glad, but I have many other questions for you, too. there is much YouTube. in Linny and Lillianne's conduct that should still be investigated Yeah, separately. I agree with you. This case, at least, can be handed over to the Oratrice to make the final decision. 
Oh my god, it's the Star Rail ticket, y'all. Are we getting pulls for Jin Yuan? Hello? Alright, Oritrice. As such, Linny and Lynette are officially declared not guilty. What if it did say that? Great work, partners. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Let's not celebrate just yet. Next, I think we deserve an explanation, Guard Vaughn. How did you find the water from the Primordial Sea in Linny's baggage? Uh, right! Your discovery caused me to make a serious mistake, you know! Or was that not a discovery? but false evidence that you dare to bring before this court! I suspect that the accomplice mentioned in Cowell's notes was not Linny, but you, yes? I... Uh... I'm sure you know what you must do to lessen your sentence. Speak quickly! Unless you want to earn yourself a one-way ticket to Coupon Town. I... I was just following orders! We were supposed to place blame for the serial disappearances onto Linny, and thus cause suspicion to fall on the Fatui. The higher-ups said this was the best opportunity to do so. And now that your plan has fallen through, and the secrets of the water have been revealed, you have become a liability to said higher-ups, yes? Therefore, you would be wise to tell everything you know, and seek the protection of the guards. <laughs> yes! I'll tell you everything He's I know! He's about to get murdered. Our boss discovered that the water can cause people to dissolve. It can also be made into a potion, which, when extremely diluted, can cause people to experience unforgettable exhilaration. We've been in this business for a while now, and have made decent mora off it. The disappearances were also the boss's idea. I mean, this is the boss we're talking about. The... I knew it! Hump! <sighs> He turned into water. And now he can no longer talk. Such ruthlessness. <sighs> My God, I shouldn't have serious. expected any less of them. An outrageous act. All present, please submit to inspection immediately. However, nothing is found on the scene apart from the liquid left behind after Vaughn dissolved. We're just going back now? The problem seems to have been solved for That's now. That's true, but... Traveler, Paimon, please wait. You have a lot of explaining to do. Winnie. I know you may not want to speak to me right now. Maybe you don't even want to look at me. Why? Well, I, I know I hate Still, the Fatui, but like, am I really that mad about them? thank you again for defending me to the end. Even after you learned that I'm a member of the Fatui. I guess. But regardless, I like the opportunity to set things straight. I didn't approach you with any ulterior motives or ill intent. I've spoken to you as myself, just plain Linny this entire time. As for why I'm a Fatus, it's because the goals of the House of the Hearth align with those of an orphan like me. Oh, they're That's orphans. It. That was how Father, who you might know as the Knave, approached recruiting us back then too. The Knave? The one who controls the House of the Hearth? She's your father? That's right. And since we're here, I was wondering. Would you mind hearing a story? Yes. It's about my past. Back when our parents first died, Lynette and I were left wandering the streets. To survive, I took to surreptitiously observing an older street performer who did magic. It took me several days to figure out how he pulled off his amazing tricks. I took my sister through several streets until we found a crowded corner and we began to perform magic tricks there. To my surprise, we proved to be pretty popular, and we could at least stop worrying about where our next meal would come from for a time. But I didn't want my sister to remain a street rat together with me forever. Before long, an aristocrat came to me and claimed that he wished to take us in after watching my performances. So you went from orphans to nobility just like that? That was how we felt at first, too. As if fate was on our side, and we could say goodbye to those painful days. But 
I gradually discovered that while we were called foster children, he was really after my talent for magic tricks. He would constantly take me to all sorts of banquets to garner attention, which he would then use to expand his social circles. That doesn't seem too bad either. Better than roaming the streets at any rate. <laughs> it took a while for me to realize just how dark his heart really was. After one particular performance at a banquet, I discovered that Lynette was not on the same return vehicle as me. I waited a long time after we returned home, but she did not come back. I went to that noble's bedroom and asked him about her whereabouts. The answer he gave me was, she caught the eye of the most eminent person at the banquet, so I sent her over as a gift. I mean, you'll be able to perform your magic regardless of who your assistant is, yes? Oh no. So he was gonna... <sighs> but wouldn't Fontaine's laws deal with such people? As far as outsiders are concerned, this is a relationship akin to adoption or foster care. And they have their ways of escaping the eye of the law. I'm speechless. Their backstory is so much darker than I thought. I managed to ferret out the location of the mansion of that so-called eminent person and hurried through the night. But by the time I leaped over the walls, avoided the guards, and made my way in, all I saw was the moonlit ground covered in blood and the knave standing there in the darkness. So... She'd already taken care of that guy. That's right. She had rescued my sister before she could come to any harm, and had even discovered several girls hidden in a basement, all of them orphans. Father, I mean, the knave, might have seen something in me, and so she made me an offer. Hmm. The House of the Hearth welcomes you, for your interests align with ours. Here, none will ever betray you. Indeed, betrayal shall never be permitted here. I was hesitant to trust her. I mean, I had just been betrayed by nobles. But she was also quick to destroy the noble who had taken us in at first, giving us back our freedom. Oh, so that's how the two of you joined the House of the Hearth. She has her own plans. She has gained permission from the Sarita to first use the Gnosis's power when she obtains it. She plans to use it to find a way to break the Are prophecy you sure she's and not save lying to you? So, she believes in that prophecy too? That's right. The whole House of the Hearth is currently working to combat that crisis. Today's case has also proven that people from Fontaine can indeed dissolve into some sort of water, thus further supporting the prophecy. All of us House members here, Lady Arlecchino herself included, are from Fontaine. We won't give up on defending our homeland. To us orphans, the only connection we have left to this world, apart from our family, is our homeland. So, from small deeds like distributing magic pockets, to huge schemes like stealing a Gnosis, everything is aimed at dealing with that prophecy. I really don't forego the stealing of a Gnosis, but I am sorry it's to hear that. It's alright, I understand. The only thing I can do is relate all this to you. I just hope you can understand that even as a member of the house, I have never stopped making my own decisions, and that I believe what I'm doing is right. If you should need anything at all in the future, feel free to find me. I will do my best to help you, as plain Linny. Okay. Twist of magic. Wow, that was a lot to take in. What about, um, Fermine? Is he, like, just their adopted sibling? Hey there. What was with the disappearing act you pulled right as the trial ended? Were you looking for us, Navi? Well, this whole thing isn't exactly over, is it? I do feel that we're getting closer to solving the serial disappearances case, though. Don't you think so, too? Well, I... Huh? What's wrong, my dear partner? I was really only trying to defend Linny. Besides! Are you sure we're the ones who can crack a case that's been cold for decades now? And given that there's new evidence from the trial, there should be a trail yeah, the of disappearance on Hydro Arc is on probably people to follow that. now, right? Huh. I see. Well, 
I won't lie. I'm a little shocked to hear that from you. But I suppose you are just travelers who have only arrived in Fontaine after all. Sorry. I might have been too presumptuous. Don't say that, Navia. Ah, oh, and we were having so much fun investigating with you, too. It was like having new waters flowing into a stagnant mire, causing new hope to spring forth and the reflection in the murk to become clearer. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm a bit prone to nostalgia. Don't mind me. Hmm? Wait, should we have a farewell meal? You know, to commemorate our time as partners? Huh? Do we really need to get that formal? Uh, well, guess you really did treat us as partners. Well, I'd just like to have a proper ending to every important memory. That way there are no regrets later. Anyway, it would just be a meal, so it shouldn't take up too much of your time. Well, if you say so. You don't have to twist my arm's arm. If Boss Navi is treating, can't play mine in. Oh, wonderful. In that case, why don't we return to the Court of Fontaine and head to the Hotel de Boer? I believe we'll make <gasps> it just in time for dinner. Dinner? All right, then. Let's have our farewell meal. Yeah. Dinner. Yay! I did it. Oh, my God. Ugh, let's leave. Ugh, leave. Go to the workshop? Why do I want to go to the workshop? I thought we were going to go meet Navia for dinner. What about dinner? Why am I going to the workshop? I want dinner. Unless you told me to meet at the workshop. Oh no, it's at the hotel now. What? I'm so confused. Anyways, give me my due rewards. Thank you. Yay, and there's an act two as well. They came out with act two already? Dang, okay. Wow. Blacksmiths and Fontaine do not hammer their metals themselves, but rather use an even more advanced method. If you have time, you really should check it out. Okay, I guess I'll do that. Alright, now that we're done with Act 1, how about we explore the land a little bit? I'm probably going to end up spending more money on this game because of Nouvellet. Looking at that man, I now realize I must have him in my party <laughs> at some point in the future. Meow. All right. Hello. All right. Yep. Mhm. Mm yep. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. Mhm. Mm yep. Mhm. Mm uh huh. Yep. Yeah. Oh, fascinating. Wow. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. Fearland. That's a cool machine you got there. I smell trade secrets. Yeah, you got that trade secrets. You hammering away even though you're just standing here. You know. Just, yep. Well, that settles it then. Looks like I'm helping you with something. Oh, no, I completed the quest. Okay, never mind. Awesome. Cool. Alrighty. Alright, what am I missing? Uh, in Fontaine, there's supposed to be an ocean. So you meet a tiny ocean. Oh, yeah, that world quest. I still have to finish these world quests. Like, oh my god. What? I had a cat in the cat's tail. What is this for? Oh my god. You meet two people where you first meet Virgil and they have the same goal. They seem nice. It's time to get an explanation from Virgil. Where are they? Oh. Okay, well, I suppose now's time to start navigating. Okay. Well, I'm gonna teleport here and start navigating around the area. Let's do some exploration, y'all. It's about time I do. And plus, I need to fight that giant, um, crab thing for Lenny. Uh, let me quickly put Kokomi back in the party, though. Because, like, um, I kinda need her to heal me if I wish to survive or even remotely survive in this place. So, like, um, yeah. Sorry, Hydro Traveler. You're cool and all, but you're not leveled up at all, and you make no sense. So, take heart, that. victory. Okay. All right. Let me go get this. Um. Uh. Bow. The uh, what's it called? The 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 the. the, the I can't talk. What's it called? Oh my God. The. The boats. Let me go get the boat point. I guess. Oh my god, my brain. 
Oh, here it is. This thing. There we go. Okay. Now I got that. Actually, I can probably just summon the boat and use it real quick. Come here. Alright, let's go. Time to make my- <gasps> The seals! Sorry. Look at him! Hi! Oh my goodness! I don't want to kill them. No. I feel like I'd be a monster if I did that. Nope, not gonna do it. Oh, energy? My little guys? Man. Oh, I need to go up here. I need to do this. Wait, no, it's down. Oh, thank god. Yay! Okay. Come here. I need this for uh, Lenny's artifact set. Okay, uh, let's see. I have two of these things, which is good. Okay. So there's this set, and then I need- this is the one I need for Lenny's set. So, let's start. I have what I need. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, the music. Alright. I'm ready. Come at me. Oh god, what have I ran into? One with the force. I hear everything. You can't run. Her punishment. Awesome. Let's do it again. Okay. Alright. Also, what's this? Ooh. Gimme. Oh, what did I encounter? Hello, hello, hello. Ah! Oh, there we go. Lovely. Completed that. What am I missing here? Gather nine. Oh, yeah. I still have to find those things. I'll need to search up where they are. Alright. 
Let's do this, baby. We got this now. I know what to do. Hold the line. You can't run. Okay. Hold still. One with the force. Yeah. Movement denied. Let's nip that in the butt. And stop. Guns. This isn't fair, bro. This isn't fair. How come you get guns and I do not? I want a gun. I want a gun. Give me gun. I'll approve you. Give me gun. You can't run. Ow. Stop. Oh my god, these like mechanisms are so like difficult to deal with, bro. Cool, but enemies though. Razor, can you activate your? Ow, lady, not cool. Trying to kill you. Thank you. Okay. Oh, done. All right. Give me my just desserts. What I get? What I get? Yes! This is turning out really well for me today. Um, I'll leave the domain for now. Alright. I'll have to farm more of those artifacts later. The, you know guys, when it comes to art farming in Genshin, I feel like the best way to farm in Genshin is definitely with your friends. It's less boring that way. And a lot faster. Alright, anyways. Lenny, come here, bud. Where are you? My top hat boy. There you are. Come here. Oh, he's like right next to Lynette. That's so cute. Alright, um, artifacts. Come here. Uh, I think it's in here, right? It should be new. Is that the top? No, that's a pocket watch. What would it be? Oh, it would be the cup, wouldn't it? Uh, because it's a canteen. Uh, yeah, this one. Switch! I also got... Was it the flower? Yes, it was. Oh, no, wait. I thought it was. Was it? No, what was it? Was it the feather? What did I get? No. Hourglass? I don't think so. Crown? Oh, it was a crown, I think. Right? Yes, it was. Here we go. Switch. There we go. Alright, um, I did- okay, that's on him. Uh, this... I thought I got one. I guess not. I ended up getting this, but that's a golden trope set. I ended up getting this. We'll switch to that for now. Switch that for now. Alright, and all that's left is the hourglass one. I believe. Okay, so we'll keep those on him for now. This one has crit rate, and therefore I wish to enhance it. And pray that it doesn't change the crit rate. Please. Please keep my crit rate. While I enhance. Please. Por favor. I beg of thee. Please keep my crit. <laughs> Okay, it does keep my crit and adds energy recharge. Okay, I'm fine with that. 
Alright, cool. Alrighty. Leveling up slowly but surely. Listen, I need to I need to buff Linny somehow. I need to get him up there somehow, okay? Like I already try I already did a trial with him and I already know that he's awesome and I really want to use him and Lynette. And I really want to use their sibling, Fermine. Uh, and I also, like, the team I want to have for Fontaine, ideally, would be Linny, Lynette, Fermine, and Nouvellet, uh, when he, when he comes out. That's, like, the ideal team I want at the moment. These are four stars. Uh, hello? Uh, no. No, thank you. What are you doing? Oh, dear. Alright, hold on. Get these little ones here. There we go. Okay, we'll stop enhancing it from there because I need to collect more like small artifacts, anyways. There we go. I'm hungry. Let's hunt. Actually, what's the drop rate boost right now? Is it still going on? Hold on. Yeah, I know. Uh, where is the drop rate boost? No, not that. Where's the drop rate boost thing? That tells me there's a drop rate boost. Where does it go? It tells me that. Not that. Not that. Not that. Is it this one? No. Oh my god, where is it? Was it in here? Oh. This maybe? Yeah, drop. Oh, I have one more left. Okay, so I should do it one more time. Okay. Alright, I was just double checking that to make sure if I should do this domain one more time. So yeah, I'm going to. Because it has like a times two drop rate boost. So I'm gonna be using the heck out of that for this domain today. Okay. The grind of characters never stops. Okay. Also, with more new bosses, you guys know what that means? More boss challenge roulette with me and Lily. I'm so excited for that to add the new bosses onto that. They're so interesting. Oh, I was clicking the wrong button. You can't run. Oops, my bad. Yeah. One with the force. <laughs> Let's nip that in the butt. <laughs> Can't see? Yeah, keep 
we're down. There we go. Easy. Okay. At least these fights aren't too hard, especially at level 90. Yay! Last reward. Gimme, 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 gimme. <gasps> what I get, what I get, what I get, what I get. Aw, oh, dang it. Well, this is fine. Crit damage. Elemental mastery. Oh, that's fine, I suppose. Okay, well, whatever. Can't get lucky all the time, I suppose. Oh well. But either way, it works, so yay! Okay. I think I'm gonna actually end stream off of here today, guys, because I've been streaming for a long time, I just realized. And uh, I don't want this to turn into like an all nighter. So, oh yeah. <laughs> Yikes. But, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a lot of fun doing this, it was so much fun. Um, I'm probably just gonna literally just end the stream, like, right off the bat. No outro thing required, because it's been a while, so we're just gonna cut it. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the VOD, and I hope you enjoy my cute little chibi, and I can't wait for future streams! Fontaine is so much fun! I still have to explore a lot of this area, so when you come back, we'll do more of the story. I'm probably gonna stream tomorrow, so I'm gonna, for now, unlock all of this, and then, uh, we'll see from what to do from there, okay? Alright, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Bye-bye!